What's up, everybody? You guys are having an awesome Friday. That was good timing. The song literally just ended. Perfection. Hope you guys are interested in seeing a little bit of the Planet Crafter. I decided to play it, I think, two days ago? Yesterday? I think I played it yesterday. It was the first time I played it. After uh, having... What's up, Overseer? How's it going, dude? Yeah, I decided to play this after I checked it out way back before it came out. I played the demo, and I was like, okay, I played it for a little bit, and then I just kind of just didn't really want to play it at early access, and now it's got, it's like 90-something percent positive reviews, and it's just, I played it for like six hours. It's been decent so far. So I would say if you, if you like Subnautica, it's very similar to Subnautica, except it's not underwater. Till later on. Later on, there's water, but at the beginning, it's it's mostly on a planet. So, what have you been up to, Overseer? I haven't seen you in a little while. Not that I've been. I think this is only the second stream I've done in like two weeks, though. So, my schedule has <clears throat> has turned into uh, it's nuts now. It's on my mouse. But yeah, this is, uh, I do have, I do have, I got to decide what I want to do with streams. So we'll see what's going to happen. I titled it one, one final stream, seeing how many people would show up just to see what's going on. What's going on. There's a couple of you guys here. Let me know how you guys are doing in the chat. Yeah, I did do a video on this game this morning. Yesterday? No, yesterday. Kind of like an overview. So I'm going to play it. There won't be too many spoilers because I'm only like six hours into it. It's going good. Been a while. So you're moving to Alabama to pursue college. Nice. Well, co well, I don't want you to, you don't have to, unless you want to tell me what college you're going to. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. Moving up in the world. Love to see it. Sarah's here. Hello, Sarah. So yeah, I'm kind of, I'm at a, right now I'm at a crossroads, I guess. For anybody that's interested, I'll just show you real quick. I mapped out my, um, Sarah is alive. What do you mean? This is the second time I've streamed in like two weeks, three weeks. I don't even remember. Uh, let's do bottom right. So I knew my schedule was going to be pretty, pretty, uh, rough in the, uh, like in the, in the next month or two. So I kind of mapped out. I mapped out, like, this is my calendar right now. This is my availability. <clears throat> red is red means I am not able to stream. Blank means I could possibly stream. This is as of right now because this is subject to change. Between both of my kids playing sports right now, my younger son's playing two sports and my older son's playing one. Basically, I have only Fridays open consistently. That's as of now. And then after next week, I'll have Wednesdays open to be able to stream on. So, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be, but it's certainly rough. Going to get settled and start searching. Going to just hold a job for a little while to build back up. There you go. <clears throat> Did you pick that state for a reason? Is that where you're from? So, yeah, that's kind of like where I'm doing great. I just got, listen, last week was, I don't know if you can see this. Last week was WrestleMania. So, we went to WrestleMania last weekend, and uh, that was nuts. There was a lot of people there, so... That's that. <clears throat> but yeah. Did we have fun? Yeah, it was great. The first night was really cold. It got down to like, I think on the high third, it was like around 39, 40 degrees the first night. And it was very windy. The second night was much warmer. But yeah, it was good. So my dad lives 40 minutes from Pensacola. Okay. There you go. Well, hopefully you uh, figure out what you want to do and get going. <clears throat> kickstart, kickstart yourself to positivity. I skipped a nursing school day to see totality. The totality. Did I see the rock? The rock was there, yeah. I can't well, I got if I wasn't streaming on YouTube, I could show you the I could show you the um I recorded I recorded some of the like intros and stuff. I didn't record matches. Yeah, the rock was there both days. He got a loud ovation first day. <laughs> I watched the clips because I was off. I took off. We didn't come back till Monday. We left Monday morning coming back. The funny part is 
the worst traffic was literally coming back home because there was an accident that shut down two lanes on 95. So we had a detour on back roads and that just, it made it take much longer to get home than it was supposed to. So yeah, there's that. Did you guys wear matching shirts? No, absolutely not. We did not. We did not have matching shirts. <clears throat> that's kind of, that's they're very nerdy. But anyway, this is, this is, my, this is my busy schedule for the next two months. As of now, I think Fridays will be open. So kind of what I'm thinking about doing is streaming on Wednesdays or Fridays. When, when Fridays actually are just, Fridays are just freaking not good for streaming, to be honest. There's just literally like viewership on Friday. You drove to Florida. It was in Philadelphia. It was almost your favorite WrestleMania of all time. Awesome, dude. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a good, it was a really good show. Totally different than going to like a Raw or a SmackDown where there's like, 10,000 people there and I literally can get home. I can go and be back in like 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, as long as we get out of the parking garage. This was like the first night was pretty getting out was pretty bad. Like the first night getting out was like, it took us like an hour and a half to get back to the hotel. The second night we got back to the hotel in like 30 minutes. I obviously know a lot about wrestling. No. Yeah. It was in Philadelphia. There's no shot. I would drive. I only went to it because it was so close. It was within driving distance. There's no way. There's no way I would have paid. It was already expensive enough going while driving. Having to fly and put plane tickets on top of that would have been ridiculous. Everything there was just super overpriced. Uh, the, the food. The food was like literally double the price of what it reasonably should have been <clears throat> inside the stadium. And I think they jacked the prices up just for the event. Because I asked the I asked the first the night first night I asked the lady working behind the register if these were the normal prices and she just laughed and I was like that's what I thought. It was literally like I think eighty dollars the first night and a hundred dollars the second night for literally fat like pizza the first night and I would there they cheese steaks the second night and I wouldn't even really call them cheese steaks because they had hardly any meat on them. it was crazy and then we got lunch one day at the convention center. And all we got was like chicken tenders and fries, and that was like sixty dollars. It was like everything was just jacked up in price, but it is what it is. Because once they have you locked in the building, you're kind of done. <clears throat> so yeah, I'll just before I'm gonna play the game in a second. That should be illegal. I mean, it. You can't bring food. You couldn't bring food in. At least like here, if I go to like an Orioles game, they let you take food in. But at uh at at WrestleMania, it was literally you could not take any food or drink in you could take an empty bottle i guess to fill it up with water but like they sent me they sent us uh clear see-through bags if we wanted to take anything in which we didn't so it was ridiculous how, how expensive it was the chicken tenders were okay they were nothing to write home about they certainly the first night was little caesar's pizza and the somebody walked up and was like how's the pizza i'm like have you never had i'm thinking to myself you've never had little it's literally little caesar's pizza and for for the amount that I paid for the, the three little small pan pizzas, I could have probably gotten 10 Little Caesars pizzas, 10 large pizzas for the same price. Can't bring food in, you're trapped, and they change the price for high events. Yeah, well, it is what it is. There's nothing we can do about it. So, but I'm going to jump into the game in a second. Basically, this is my schedule coming up. So, next week, next week, if I stream, it'll be on Friday. I don't, I honestly don't like streaming on Fridays because viewership is ten, ten tends to be awful. No matter what, like and when I used to stream on like regularly, Fridays were always like the worst. So after that, I like next week, there's going to be, as of right now, I'm not going to play grounded. I'm kind of waiting to see if they reveal anything special next week. I don't expect them to, I guess if they like blow my sock, blow me away with like some secret thing that they haven't mentioned then I would stream it on Friday, but otherwise I'll probably just be, I'll probably do like Wednesdays. I'll have to see what's going on because I kind of want to decide what I want to do. Cause I'm going to say the reason my title on YouTube is one final stream is I do not plan on streaming on this channel on YouTube anymore. I'm streaming on YouTube and Twitch for anybody who's not aware. I'm not going to stream on this channel on YouTube anymore because I'll just show you the quick stats. This is the last 90 days. And you'll notice that like the streams on YouTube, they actually seem to be hurting my channel. Like, I'm actually losing subscribers, which is kind of ridiculous. So, there's two options. There's two options. 
Don't do what? It's a trap. No. The two options are I stream on my second channel on YouTube and also stream on Twitch. So do the same thing I'm doing now. Or I only stream on Twitch. What I think I want to do is stream on my second channel because to be completely honest, I post absolutely nothing on there. And I'm kind of thinking about just changing it into the channel where I just do live streams on it because it will let me do the more of the streams I want to do because the streams that I did on this channel where I was not like specifically talking about like or playing a survival game, they tended to not do that great. So I could be more free with what I stream over there. And if I do gameplay and I want to use it, I could take the gameplay and then just post it onto this channel. So that's kind of what I'm thinking about doing. I'll probably just do like a, I don't know. Stream on the second channel, upload the highlights in your main channel. I'm kind of thinking, I'll show you somebody who does this. Um, who I have been, I watched most of their content. Actually, how funny is that? It literally comes up as the first thing. So, Luke Stevens has two channels. He has his main channel, which has like 500,000 subscribers that he literally makes like well-edited and scripted videos. And then he has his live channel where he streams for like three hours a couple of days a week. And then he also like, he does like, if he does like a, he'll take clips from, he'll take clips from his streams and put them on the second channel. And he also like, if he watches a video and does like a reaction to it, he'll do it on the second channel. And like he reserves his first channel for like the highly edited stuff, which is kind of what I feel like I should, I want to do. Like right here is most recent video, Fallout TV show first impression. So like literally I could just do whatever the hell I want on that second channel. So that's kind of what I'm thinking about doing. Because my second channel, I my originally was going to use my second channel to post content on other games. But the reality is there's just I don't I'm, I don't I don't want to I don't want to watch uh I don't want to watch I mean I sorry, I don't want to play games just to make videos on them. Like I honestly bought this Planet Crafter game and had no intention of making videos on it. I was just like, I'm just gonna play it. And then I liked it enough that I was like, let me make a video on it and I'll stream it so people can see it. Did you watch what? I have not watched the Fallout show yet. No. A fall TV show pisses me off as a Fallout, especially when I'm hy when them hyping as a detail oriented and following the lore. It's on Prime, isn't it? I mean, I can. Wa I'll probably watch it. It's like what, eight episodes or something? Then they release all of them. Don't spoil anything. But yeah, that's kind of the plan. I think what I'm gonna do. I'll probably do a. I'll do like a YouTube. Um, I'll do like a YouTube, whatever it is, community post and just say like, I'm going to rebrand my second channel to just be like a live channel. So if I stream, I'm not going to like, I'm obviously never going to, I'm not full-time streaming. If I stream once or twice or three times a week, I'll do it on my second channel. And then if there's anything worthy of taking from there and putting it on the, the, the channel you're watching me on right now, then I'll do that. And I'll still stream on Twitch because some people like to watch on there. Some people like to watch on YouTube. And I think that'll just be better that way. You can watch wherever the hell you want to watch. I've watched all eight episodes and it's highly inaccurate. Every episode is something glaringly wrong, but if you don't know the lore, it's a pretty good show. I don't know anything about Fallout except there's vaults in it. I, I've, I've never played any Fallout game. I watched somebody play... I watched somebody play Fallout 76. Apparently I own Fallout 76. I got a code for Fallout 76 and I tried to activate it and told me I already owned the game, which I didn't know I already owned, so... I don't remember playing it. I remember watching somebody stream it a little bit and they told me it was good up until they got to the end game and then they said the end game was horrendous. I think Kisker might have also said the same thing, so. All right, well, let me stop dilly-dallying around. I will jump into this game. That way you guys can see if you're interested in it and if you want to pick it up, so. Where is the best place to put my camera for this game? Um, One second, let me... Let me open my video. I'm going to open my video from. I do have a video tomorrow. I'm still I'm sticking with the this week in survival games for a little bit longer. Hopefully it starts getting more traction. So I got that coming tomorrow. Um, Where is the planet crafter? After two years of early. OK, Uh, bottom right's probably fine. There we go. That'll work. Thanks for the follow, Fuji Bud. Fallout is my favorite game universe. You missed out. 
Mm, I don't know because it's it's a Bethesda. Bethesda doesn't doesn't make good games anymore, so I don't think I've missed out to be completely honest. All right, we'll just jump in here and check out the Planet Crafter. I am six hours into this save, so we'll see. Uh, I have not done like a tremendous amount yet, so there should not. I basically did the tutorial and then relocated my base a couple times. I need to see what the audio is like right now to see how loud it is. <laughs> that seems to be decent. It's sitting at like right where it should be. So if you're not aware, the premise of this game is you are a criminal who was dropped onto a planet and to not be a criminal anymore, you have to terraform the planet and make it so the people can live on it. So basically the planet looks like that before anything happens and then you just start building a base and stuff. So you start off with that little pod down there. I believe I think the map is I think the map is static, but there are also procedurally generated areas you can go to. And the goal is basically to you have to like increase the oxygen heat pressure. I don't know what the heck biomass is because that wasn't explained to me when I was paying attention. So you have to do those things. You have to increase those and you'll see the numbers going up there. And as the numbers go up there, the number in the top right corner will slowly be going up. And then over here, it's telling me what's going on. This is uh, moving at a pedestrian pace. This was going much faster before, so I need to start cranking it up. But uh, there's basically a bunch of different resources you can get. Um, there's blueprints. There's all these things you can unlock that will help expedite your terraformation. You can launch rockets up into space. And uh, yeah. So this thing collects water for me. These are plants. These are plants that are creating oxygen. Satellite dish gets me messages. These are drills that are increasing the temperature and the pressure on the planet. And then up top we have some power. There's wind turbines, there's solar panels, there's also some nuclear reactors stuck in there. And I'm not sure, but I know there's going to be water at some point. And one of the messages told me to build up high, so I don't know if this is a safe place to build, but this is where we're going to stay for now. Because, yeah, I don't know what, I don't know what else to uh, do at this point. In terms of like I don't want to, I don't want to re completely relocate my base. Bottom left you have health, thirst, and oxygen. So like Subnautica and also like Breathage, where you have to manage your oxygen. That's kind of like the beginning of the game. You have to go out, get a bunch of stuff, come back, and then come back, and come back, and then replenish your oxygen and so on and so forth. But what I've been doing is, as I go out, and actually I might as well go over here because I think I still have resources I haven't gathered over here. I think. At each one of the at each one of the wreckage sites that I found, I built like it's a small little base that lets me uh replenish my oxygen. You also notice there's resources all over the place that you can collect. I'm not gonna grab these for now because I don't need them. That was the original base that I've shrunk down. And there's uh different biomes. The different biomes are gonna have different resources in them. So I'm kind of at a point now where I think I need to go some to new some new biomes. Because I've gotten all the resources. I've unlocked everything I think I can unlock currently. Uh, there is fall damage, but you have to fall like a really far distance for it to actually damage you. And I think I've died, I think I've died like twice because of losing oxygen. One was because of oxygen, and the other one was because I died of thirst. So once your thirst or oxygen meter or health, I guess if your health meter hits your death, instantly dead, but the thirst and the oxygen, if it hits zero, you have a couple of seconds to be able to, uh, to recover to, to get, get get back into a spot like this so okay so we'll take this i'm gonna leave this here because there is some stuff in here i can't get so there's wreckages like this that you can go inside of and uh you can break things down but i think there's stuff in here that i cannot currently break down because i think i need the tier two tool that breaks it down it's probably like electronic stuff uh i don't know it's in here somewhere but i can't do it anyway i need the tier two version of it so I'm just going to start going out and exploring. No, I mean, I might. I was thinking about playing Fallout 76, but then I st Oh, this melted. Have I been in here? Oh, I have not been in here. Oh, I need this. This is the new resource. 
So this was an ice wall here, and it is melted because... Oh, I need that too. It melted because I raised the temperature enough. I didn't even realize this melted. What does that say? Starts melting at 5... Whatever the hell, hell that says. 76 is not the same. Well, I was going to play it, and then I saw that... I, I was reading, like, the recent reviews, and people are just saying it's just bad. Okay. I literally walked past this because I thought it... I don't need iron. I thought it was the, um... Cobalt. There's Cobalt. 76 may be different from Lump, but it's still a bad game. Yeah, I'm just not going to play it. I got a bunch of the... Oh, maybe that's where I got it. There was a bunch of, um... There was a bunch of Fallout games for free on... Between Twitch Prime and... I think it was Twitch Prime. I might have gotten New Vegas. I've heard nothing but good things about New Vegas, so I might play that at some point. Next week, No Rest for the Wicked comes out on the 18th. So... I might play that as well. And that's the kind of thing, it's like, if I want to play a game like... An RPG, or... If I want to play No Rest for the Wicked... It would be far, like, it would make far more sense to do that on my second channel, where there's not, like, an audience that's catered towards, like, one specific thing. So, that's probably what I'm doing. I'll probably just rebrand the channel over the weekend and, uh, change it. Alright, so, oh, you can also grow stuff. I watched somebody stream this earlier, and I was like, what the hell? They had so much stuff that I'd never seen before. Which was pretty much like everything, because I think they had like 40 hours on their save. I can't build the... I need to build a, another locker. So you got heaters in here. This is the crafting station. I needed this other stuff for something. Oh, I need that for the tier 2 torch. That's good. So I need aluminum and magnesium. How much does that give me for light? Is that considerably more? I don't even know. It seems much brighter. That's good. Play Fallout 4 or Fallout New Vegas, but you want to mod New Vegas? This might make me play Subnautica again. Well, the funny thing is, is I was... When I played Subnautica, I kind of got to the point where I was not really that... I just was like, I don't want to really want to play it. God damn, I need more chess. Um, but this was like, there's literally zero combat in this game. You just have to not die from starvation, thirst, oxygen deprivation, or fall damage. Sometimes there's meteors. I don't know what happens if a meteor hits you. I'm just going to have to put, um, chest down somewhere. Temporarily. I need to make a bigger base. But this is very, very, very similar to Subnautica. Alright, what did this say I needed to get to? I needed the temperature to get to... Was it 1,000? So now the pressure is going up, but the... I need to, I need to start building some more stuff. Astroneer? Um... I don't know. I honestly didn't care for Astroneer that much. I don't know why. I was just like, didn't. Uh, let me go clear. There's a cave over here that I'm I th not sure if I cleared everything out yet or not. Astroneer and Subnautica Baby. It's very much... I would say it's very similar to Subnautica. Except you can't drown. You'll just die. Eventually what happens is, because the person I was watching playing it had already done this, you will eventually... Uh, make, I guess you, uh, whatever, you, as you're terraforming the planet, it will become oxygen rich, and then you don't have oxygen, uh, concerns anymore. So that will eventually happen. I'm not even close to that, I don't think, because I, it's probably going to take quite a while. Yeah, I'm wondering if these resources respawn, because I feel like I cleared this stuff out. This is, uh, this is needed to make iridium rods, which is for, like, the higher level heaters. And I thought I cleared all this out, but apparently I haven't. 
Grab the aluminum too, because there's not like a ton of aluminum around yet. Oh, it does seem to be a lot brighter. It's good. All I need, I need the tier two deconstruction tool. That's the thing that's kind of. There's places that I, to some of the spaceships, I cannot get all the resources out of them because I can't get through. I can't break through some of the structures because I need the tier two tool. But there's no, uh, as far as I know, there's no, I don't think there's any, like, secret monsters that are going to pop out and attack me. At least I don't think there are. I swear some of these things, they have to be, res they have to be spawning over time, because I know I cleared this whole place out. And this stuff keeps coming back. Because this was the only stuff I was grabbing when I was in here before. My oxygen is getting low. If I clear this, uh, I don't really even need the seeds to be honest, because I have so many seeds. I don't think I need. I don't think I need them. Yet. Maybe later. All right, let me have that because I'm gonna die. The meter does start going down pretty quickly. Yeah, this is only seventeen dollars right now too. I think you would easily get, easily get like 50 hours, 50 to 100 hours out of it. It seems like a game that's going to take quite a while to do everything. So for the price, it seems like a steal. Take my prime and smile. You have a Twitch, you have prime now? Thanks for the Twitch prime, dude. I appreciate it. Oh no, we're going to oxygen level low. It's going to quickly say critical, then I die. Did you get Prime just to watch the Fall Show? Oh shoot, I hope I don't die. I am literally right by the door. Please don't. Yeah, that was really close. I guess we'll make some more rods. I had a Prime because of Amazon Video needing it. Just for Fallout. There you go. Thanks dude, I appreciate it. Well, hopefully you like the show enough. At three, four, five, six, seven. Oh. I downloaded every episode, but now I gotta find a way to decrypt them from from Amazon. All right, yeah. So I need to increase. I need to increase the heat to melt that ice. So I should make more heaters, and the heaters are. Oh, they don't even need the... Oh, yeah, I need these. I gotta put these down. How much energy do I currently have? I have a surplus of energy, so I can put down a couple of those. I need to build more space. I think that's the problem. Originally, I was gonna extend this out. Oh, maybe I can extend it right here. Titanium, iron, and silicone. Actually, what I could do... Because I don't think I can build these outside. Alright, I need... Aluminum, titanium, silicone. Like, later on you get storage that you can... That is really small and has... Way... I think, like, two extra rows over here. And I think you can also auto-sort and everything like that. But I don't think I can place this outside, can I? This must be placed inside. It's gonna be placed on the roof. Screen cap, OBS, even my video encoder down do not work. So Ammon has done some serious stuff to protect. I could build a second floor. Honestly, because I'm using these, these wind turbines are basically going to be useless. If I put f if I put two more of them in there, maybe that's the play. Maybe I just built a second floor. What does this look like? 
Oh, wait, I needed that. A bio lab allows you to craft bio recipes, okay? So what I could do is put, what does this look like? Can't even print screen or snips. You, if you're playing the show, it won't let you record it on OBS. Is that really? Yeah, I could just put a ladder in here and do something like that. I don't really need it. Although I could just build out this way too. Uh, let's do... That thing's enormous. Do I have super alloy? This thing's just gotta go. It's literally blocked. It's like... Sorry, my guy. I'll rebuild you somewhere else. Oh my god, that thing is massive. I have mushrooms. I don't even know what some of this stuff is. I've never seen algae. I have no idea what a methane cartridge is. Maybe I should not build this right now. It doesn't seem worth building right now. I think I'm just gonna I think I'm just gonna build a um I'm just gonna build a regular You also get back hundred percent when you recycle, which is awesome. I'm just going to build a regular door. And just expand this thing out, maybe. I could build a biodome. Perfect to grow plants and generate O2. What's my O2 looking like? Oxygen is barely moving. I'm updating my OBS now. Might as well give it another try. I have voice meter. I can split your audio from it. I can split your audio from it. What? Let's see how big this thing is. Uh, I have a Lerma seed in my... Do I have that in my inventory? Okay. I need one titanium, two cobalt. Three super alloy. Rain is good. This can't connect, it just needs to be standalone. Would it be able to connect over here? That's really weird, it has to be by itself. Why does it not have a door? So that's just going to be for growing stuff. I don't even know if I need that or not. I'm just going to make the base bigger temporarily. If you've already seen the show, why do you need a copy of it? That's, that's, that's what I want to know. Um, glass wall for a living. Right. I have no titanium. Let's just grab a bunch of this stuff. We need this. Don't need this right now. The one thing it doesn't have is it does not have craft from storage, which is kind of like... I don't know why it doesn't have craft from storage. At least I don't think it does. Build 
Did that refund my stuff? Can I just keep adding one to the end? Let's find out. Oh, you can. I don't even have to build the doors. Okay. I could build those other things off of that. I could just leave this. I just need a big-ass storage area. That is my problem right now, is not having enough storage. I can do all my storage in this hallway. Then I can put more heaters and stuff somewhere. Like, I could just move these because I can't empty them. Uh, let's do some more. Let me just fill up the hole. Let's max this thing out for now. One iron short. It would be nice if you could pick stuff off and move it. That's kind of like one of the only downsides, but I mean, at least you get back 100% cycle. Okay, so I don't need this. I don't need this. this. That. Can move all the uranium down here. Name it uranium. I'll make this one iridium. So we can move all that there. That'll clear up this whole back corner. I'll put another heater back here. I believe there's at least one more backpack also. Alright, what does this heater cost to me? Silicon, titanium, aluminum. I'm gonna slow I'm gonna slow some parts down to look at detail. You can't do that while you're watching it on the on the actual show. Titanium silicon. Damn, how am I miss out of these? Okay, does that make the meter move even faster? The pressure is like flying, but that might be because it's so low. I don't even know how to do the biomass. I guess that's probably... It's going up faster now. Jesus Christ, that's at a crawl. Can I make another heater? Prime video player sucks. You mouse over and has a huge menu to darken the screen. Oh. Oh, I saw plenty. Does those things not use that much? Wait, I have... Okay. It's terrible and I never want to use it again? Oh, okay. Alright, so if I can move... I kind of don't want these here because they're basically useless at this point. Well, that gave me a lot of stuff back. Can I sneak another one? 
just need an iridium rod. Nice, nice and warm back here. Now what's our power situation looking like? I still have 50? Still have plus 50 right now. Just grunt. I should probably grow the mushrooms because I need those for something. Mushrooms were needed for whatever that one thing was. Okay. Uh, yeah. Alright, so is the heat going up noticeably now? Oh, the heat went up. It seems to be much higher. Should I build one more? I can make another one. Or it's the this gives me 28 heat, 0.6 pressure. Yeah, let's do that. I don't know what this does. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. Time to dive into sketchy programs I've never heard of. That doesn't sound safe at all. Um, I have plenty of those. Okay. Okay. Uh, now we're good. Now we're cooking. Literally. Heat should be exploding right now. Oh, the pressure is going up pretty quick, but that's because it's so low. I need to probably make another drill. I have 32 power left. Uh, yep, yeah, that'll give me... I could put like two or three of them. I could put three of them down. Iron, titanium, aluminum. Six titanium. There's no way I'm running out of that. That's insane. Stuff's everywhere. Have you seen Cataclysma? There was a demo in Steam and it is a lot. It, it's a tower defense game. I saw a trail. I saw the trailer for it. What was it last week? Is it? Is it an RTS? For some reason, I think it was an RTS. Plastic. What about plastic? I need titanium. I can't believe I've used all of it. I think later you get robots that will collect all these resources for you. Yes, but also tower defense. The mushrooms are needed for plastic, or they look like plastic. Uh, where are we going here? Yes. Okay. I need more uranium. I think. Oh yeah, the pressure is exploding right now. Perfect. Is this going up faster? Jesus, that's still trickling. I need to need to crank this stuff up. Yeah, Cataclysmo. I think I I'm just not a fan of RTS games. I can't even. I'm, I tried to make myself play them, and I just can't. There's another one coming out. It's called like Fate of Balder or something. I think they sent me a Steam key. I got to take a look at that. That looked fairly interesting, but I mean, I'll take a look at the Cataclysmo again. It was during that like 45 minute show. The only games that stuck out during that show to me were... Did I add any to my wish list? Hold on. Won't be able to see this, but... Wish list. Did I add any games from that show to my wish list? I don't even remember if I did. Oh, Slay the Spire 2.
Yeah, I, Slave Aspire 2 was the only new game from that, that show that was on the other day that I was, like, super interested in. The mushrooms are used for bioplastic nuggets. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just, I just unlocked the, uh, I just was able to melt. I just realized there was melted ice. What does that ice need to be? What did it say it needed to be? Was it like 1,000 UK? I can't tell. What, I don't know what the hell these things are. All right. Um, let me just relocate all these cabinets real quick. And then we'll go... I got to go look for uranium. So I can make another reactor. You can also, I think, I think the way this works is I think I can shove these between these. Oh, now I can make algae. Perfect. I had not had that yet. Bioplastic nugget. All right, so I need the mushrooms growing. Then we can make algae. Grows underwater algae. Generates biomass. Oh, I need that because biomass is the one thing I'm not doing very well. Oh, and I just got rid of the damn grass. I just got rid of that too. I should build a couple of those. I thought once the grass grew, you could get rid of them. Apparently, you have to wait a little bit longer. Okay. Uh, this is literally just going to be the storage hallway. A route of iron. So, we will take all of cobalt. Shove that in one of these. The, yeah, the Triple I show, that was the one that had, um, that was the one that had it, yeah. Alright, those are the, alright, this one can be, what, uh, we can build more storage cabinets here. A control. Control flips it quick. And aluminum done. Jaybird, have you finished this game? I'm wondering how many hours it takes to finish it. That for somewhere else. Iron. Shoot, I need to do that. Let's call this one Iron. All right. There's literally no titanium. I have a lot of silicon for some reason. Time for program two. Haven't finished yet, just came back to it and started over a new game. Oh, okay, so you're not sure either how long it takes to finish it? Silicon. Uh, magnesium. I'll be honest, I'm kind of surprised. When I played it the first time, I was like, this game's stupid. <laughs> and I'm like, what the hell is this? It's just stupid. And now I'm like, okay, I'm committed. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go through this. I'm going to keep going. At the beginning, the number in the top right corner, it was literally flying in the beginning. Now it's slowed down because I need to get myself in gear and progress faster. Okay, this can be a uh, super alloy. Oh, tier five backpack, excellent.
My guess would be about 50 hours. Somebody I was watching stream it earlier had a save with, um, 40, 40 hours on that save. Where am I going to put these? I guess I need to make more. You don't really want to make chests, they're too damn small. Yeah, this one back here. That's got a bunch of food in it. I guess I can shove lockers in over here. I love how this site is totally reputable and totally doesn't have a trending ass with Power World free download for Windows. Wow, you are riddle. What are you doing? Oh, that's perfect. Look at that. Okay, so I can do... Oops. Honestly, I don't have a lot of this stuff right now. Oops. Alright, this is... Uh, I don't even know how to spell that. Osmium. Sulfur. Spell that right. Alright, that's sulfur. Okay, so we also need um is that a sandstorm? Oh, there's meteors. Damn it, are they iron? I need meteors that are like I'm gonna have to set a rocket up to get I don't think they, I think these are just regular there's, you can send a rocket up to get... Uh -oh, can I not get out of my house again? There we go. You can send ro rockets up in the air that will give you... Um, that will send down uranium. I also know how to format a hard drive and reset if things go wrong. Why was it not letting me place stuff next to these? It's like you have to place this down first. Or I have so much food, I don't even want to grow it anymore. Okay, I need to go find uranium. So, I guess we'll just put some more chests down for now. I could make the, uh... Oh, I need to make the... Bu What's making biomass? 0.8 plants per second. I need Lerma seed, magnesium, aluminum. Do five of those. I need... A bunch of water bottles, which I should have out here. And I need magnesium and aluminum. Okay, why are these empty? What the f Oh. Put that stuff there and make this one the food one. How much energy these take? Did that really unpower me? God damn it. I need uranium. Because I there's no way I have enough to make a rod. Alright, well this can go... Uh, I could just make these for now. Silicone and cobalt. Alright, let's put the seeds back temporarily. D -d 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 I gotta make the bigger backpack, that's number one priority right now. 
I have not played it much yet, but I'd love to try demos. Now, there's no harm in trying a demo. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, don't. Honestly, there's a bunch. There's games I've had on my wish list, and after I tried the demo, they came off my wish list because I was like, these are bad. There's also games I've tried the demo for, and I'm like, instantly, uh, instant buy. Silicone. What's up, Volker? How's it going, dude? Oh, there's water forming down there. Nice. Oh, I should just deconstruct this. Yeah, let me build the solar panels, then deconstruct that. I don't even need that building over there anymore. It's not doing anything for me. That's not water, I had to empty my toilet tank. Whatever gets the planet the right color, that's all that matters. It's gotta make everything green. Actually, these are not that bad, they had 19 energy. Until I get more uranium. Well, let me go deconstruct this building. It's going to be underwater anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I'm not even sure what the hell's in here. I think there's a couple plants or something in here. Actually, I think this game has a demo also. I'm not sure how long you can... I swear, when I played the demo of this, I got further than I am right now. Because I thought I had water everywhere when I played the demo. Unless they... Maybe they changed progression. I need to put a door at the other end. Sort. Alright. Uh, so... ice. Why do I have ice? I don't even think you need ice anymore. Right? I like building aspect, and you can pause to think that I'm not that big of an RTS, but it's more than just that. I'll check if... I mean, if there's a demo for it, I'll check out the demo. Uh, ice, ice, ding. When can I make the... I need the tier 2 deconstructor tool. I think you get that by RNG, because you find... you Increasing the terraformation index will unlock stuff in the little skill... Well, you can't say it. The skill... The, the technology tree. But then you can also unlock stuff by finding these little microchips. That seems to be completely RNG. Oh, we need 175,000 TI. Okay. This stuff's just lying on the floor. What was I low on? I'm low on titanium for some reason. So let me fill up on that real quick. Then I'm gonna go... See if I can make a rocket to make the... See if I can make a rocket to make the um, uranium come down. What did I play? I tried to play... I think I played the demo for... 
What was that other game that was similar to that? There was a game similar to that where you... It was like tower defense. You kept getting rushed every night, but it was so unbalanced. But I was just like, this is not fun. And I stopped playing it. He's over here. Sulfur. Osmium. Is that a real thing? Is this actually like an element? It's on the periodic table. Then I can put... I'll just make this food. All right, now we have all these seed containers that I guess I can, um... These are seeds. B. So I'll just leave this for here for now. Okay. All right, I need these to make the... What's my power at? Uh, I could make... Can I make one of those? Most of these programs are clones of one of them. The base program doesn't work, so none of them work. Why don't you just Google how to do whatever? And it'll tell you how to do it. it extracts ore from the ground depending on where it's placed. Interesting. All right, I need uranium. That's the main thing I need. So let me take water with me. Should be water out here. All right, we should be good. Um, I've seen uranium in here on the ground, so there might be some in here. They don't work. They may have worked in the past. I mean, that's also could have happened too. Wait, who who's played this? Who knows how to get the tier two deconstructor tool? Is it in the skill? Is it is it unlocked via like a random microchip? I think this one's empty. It's just got random stuff in it. I've seen uranium on the ground in here. So there may be some on the ground. I already cleared out the entire crash ship or whatever's in here. because I'm low on that for some unknown reason. I need that. Maybe there was just like, maybe they were in chess. Perfect. Oh, I need a microchip. Perfect. This is the way out. Uh, 
have a building over there? There's like a central area in here. What's up, Flimzel? How's it going, dude? Dead end. That looks like a dead end. Oh, maybe more of the ice has melted up here. What's wrong with this game? Nothing so far. So far, the game's been fine. I'm actually, uh... It's very low stress. The only thing you have to worry about is, uh, not dying from... Oxygen, oxygen deprivation. I think I built a little house over here. I hope I built a... Oh, is that my little house? Okay. Play the demo. The demo's... I think the demo's still up. Did I search this whole place? Oh no, this one went really far down. Alright, let me go in here. I have a better flashlight now. This one went really far down and I was afraid to go into it because I think when I came over here I had really low oxygen. But my oxygen tank's much bigger now. Jackpot. A golden seed. A rocket engine. Jesus Christ, this thing's loaded. Holy shit, that's we're rich. Now I can get tons of uranium. Okay, uh... Well, I don't think I need two water. Alright, let's go back in one more time. See what else there is. I'm addicted to a Assassin's Creed Odyssey. How old? Isn't that an old game? That looks like uranium right there. Oh my god, more? Definitely need that. This thing you can put something in later on, I guess. I need the tier 2 deconstruction tool. I don't know where to get it. walk down that okay all right let's uh not be too greedy game pass newest for oh. Bro, i'm gonna i'm gonna lose my mind i canceled my game pass on my kids game pass i don't know how long ago i checked i checked one of my credit card bills and i was like what the hell is this $18 charge from Microsoft? I was like, I don't have anything. I haven't. Why am I getting charged from Microsoft? And it was like, it said Game Pass. I'm like, I canceled my Game Pass. I don't know how long ago. So then I go and check. First, I check my account. I'm like, okay, it's not on there. Then I check one of my kids' accounts. I'm like, okay, he doesn't have it. Now, mind you... Logging into Microsoft accounts, for some reason, they make it so uh, difficult. I don't know why, but they do. Um, so then I'm like, then I go check the other one's account. I'm like, are you kidding me right now? At some point, I must have, at some point, I think what happened was, 
And he didn't do it himself. Because I have to do the purchases. I think what happened was... Uh, I think I, I bought like a, a three-month subscription to it and must have checked the auto-renew box. And it had been auto-renewing for... I have, no, I have no idea how long. Probably like the last six months. I was so... I was like, you gotta be joking right now. Um... I will drink this water. I already have all these things. Um... Just take the water just in case. I come back and get the stuff. Alright, I have to go... East, right? Anything over there. I think. God, every time I leave this one, I get lost. Did I bring food? Yeah. That does not look like my base. Is it? I mean, it must be. It has... Satellites on it. Ensuring my subscription to Office Depot requires me to call them to turn it off. Such a pain. I just started going through and was like, I'm going to start. I'm getting rid of everything I'm not using because it's ridiculous how many subscriptions you sign up for and then just stop using or you're not using them to make it worth it. Like, I, I literally was not using my Game Pass at all. Oh, this is actually a pretty short walk. I must have taken the long way to get there. I really hope that one of those chips unlocks the uh, tier two deconstruction tool. Amazon makes it stupid too. I'm dealing with it now. I just don't understand. I, I don't. I must have clicked auto renew because. So. To, to prevent this from happening in the future, I literally deleted my credit card off of both of their accounts so that it won't auto-charge it. Because it was on a credit card that I don't use very often, but I was I was wondering, I'm like... The last couple of months, I was like, why am I getting freaking... Why am I getting charged? Why am I always having to pay on this credit card when I never use it? And I just was dumb and didn't think anything of it, and then I went and checked. That's what it was. It was that every every month, 18 months. Uh, or $18 a month. GPS satellite. What the hell did that say? That's not what I wanted, my guy. I needed, um... Damn it, I need... Tier 2 deconstruction tool. Which I can make right now. Hold on. I'm going to call in a uranium. Let me do uranium. Uranium uh, rocket. What's it cost? Map information rocket. Super alloy rod. Provides better geolocation. Uh, I need the one that does... Yes, I need two super alloy and three cobalt. Like my sub this channel, dude just doesn't stream. Oh, you weren't here earlier. When I was doing my uh, spiel. Was it? I literally don't remember already. Was it three super alloy? Is that it? Why do I have, like, amnesia? I cannot remember what happened. I have, like, short-term memory loss. Three cobalt. You didn't see my... I showed my schedule earlier. Literally have... Next week basically is just a wash. The only day I have the only day I have available is Fridays. And Fridays are generally not great for streaming. 
after that I can stream on Wednesdays again, which will probably be good, but I'm gonna... We'll have to see what's gonna go on. Alright, so this will call in a uranium rocket. Or this rocket will go up and then uranium will come flying down. I got Game Pass because you said it was dumb to not do it. But I'm, if you're using it, it's great. Are you playing on Xbox? Like, if you're playing on Xbox and you're using it, it's great. When I was using it, it was great. I was checking out all these games, but now I'm like... Now I don't. I don't, don't play... I was not playing any of the games on there. Alright, I'm just dumping my inventory. somewhere. No way that only... Oh, they're stuck over there. How do I reach that? Oh, there's a lot of them. Are there a lot of them falling? The last time I think I only searched like two of them. Or three of them. I didn't realize there were so many. What a perfect time for it to happen. Um, where the hell did that other one go? There wasn't there one like right here. Each one of them drops like five. I got scammed on that one because it got s where it landed. Your PC only are using Game Pass? See, I like only I mostly play games on PC on Steam. I don't even use Game Pass. I wasn't using Game Pass. I mean, if you're if you're playing a couple games a month, then yeah, it's worth it. Where are the other? I got that one. Was there any more? Did I do this? Nope, I didn't do this one. Great. Nice. I really need those nuclear reactors. That way it'll jack up my power output. Let's not be greedy. Okay, so apparently it drops like four or five of them. I must have missed some of them last time. I guess they despawn. So I think I only saw three meteors last time. So each meteor drops like five of the resource. That's been four meteors. They all tend to land close to your base, which is great. Last time one landed over here by the rock, so maybe one landed over here. Actually, I see green in front of me. So it looks like there's like five each time. They do land randomly, because last time they were in different places. Okay. The game does stutter every once in a while for some reason. I don't know why. What the hell is that? There's water coming out of the ground. Is my base going to be underwater? Okay, that thing's like almost submerged now. This whole area down here is going to be a lake. Does the green go away once you get all of them? 
So the only one I didn't get all of them was the one that was right by, by my base. I don't think I, I don't think any more landed. That's only that's five. One, two, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's twenty-seven. Your base will be fine there? Okay. It said, there was a message that said to build it on high ground, and I'm like, because I originally had it down there, and I was like, that's the lowest, lowest point on the map. That's not smart. So then I moved it up. There's got to be a couple more uranium in here. I can, like, see it in there, like. Okay, there's two more there. That's all of them. There must be like 30 total. So that's like six meteors with five each. Nice. Now I can make a couple reactors. If I can put two reactors in the middle there, I'll be good. To buckle my shoe. All right, good. These will despawn eventually. Right, what are the reactors cost to make? Freaking super alloy. How much of that do I have? One, two, five, six. I need two uranium rods. You can make more. All right, we're good there. I just need uh, four bottles of water. gonna jack our energy up. I'm gonna have, like double the energy. Need to build more stairs. It's becoming a pain in the ass to get up here. I hope these fit. No way. This has to fit. Perfection. We got four of them shoved in there. Nobody will know we're doing nuclear reactors. They're hidden. All right. Looks similar to Subnautica. It is very similar to Subnautica so far. All right, my power should be out the wazoo now, right? 531. Okay, I need to start putting down things that will make... Um, things that will make the grass grow. All right, we have... Where is it? Algae generator grows underwater algae. Gener place on a water surface. That's very low plant, though. This takes up a lot of energy. Wait, they both take up a lot of energy. Oh, that's 0.8 per second. I should do that. Eggplant, bioplastic nugget. I have a couple of those, right? I have no eggplants grown. I need more food growing. Aluminum, iron, water. We've got a couple eggplants growing. What do these things take? 15 energy.
eggplant seeds. I may have to watch them all again to record them. Why do you... Why? Uh, eggplant seed. Alright, we got a bunch of food growing. Oh wait, didn't I get a plant that was better? Where did I put that golden seed? That needs to go outside, because that is... Nice. Plus 7,800. That's good. This one is the 300. These are all 300s. Do you know if there's a controller support? Um, Give me one second. Check the Steam page. I thought it said controller support. I'll just double check. Full controller support. Xbox and PlayStation controllers. There's also a demo right now. You can download the demo. The game's also 30% off. I'm not getting commissions for, for pushing it on you either. I'm just letting you know. You can try it for free right now. I don't even know how long the demo... I'm, I'm almost positive when I played the demo, I got... I was further along than this. So... Alright, that stuff's going... Oh wait, that's a 400 percent We gotta put that in there. Do I have any outside? These things do... They just do oxygen. Wait, these things... Well, wait, they do four... If I do 400%, that's what? 26, 52? That's still not even as good as this. So there's no point in putting those out there. Alright, so we need... What do I need? Um... 0.8 plant 127. I mean, this is just superior. This takes less energy, puts more oxygen, and more plant. This is just way cheaper to craft. How do you like it so far? Uh, yeah, I would 100% rec recommend it. It's only $17. I mean, if you liked Subnautica gameplay loop or Breathage, you'll like this. It's very similar. All right, let's just build a couple of these. Two Lerma seeds. Two aluminum. Two magnesium. And four water bottles. There's more meteors falling. I need to make another door. Because it's a pain in the ass walking around every time. Iron, titanium, silicone. The only thing it the only thing I wish they would add would be craft from storage. Like craft from nearby storage. Okay. That lets me out down here. That's good. Also, no one is e no one's even commented. I 100% did not intentionally make my base look like this. It is like a phallic symbol right now. That was not the intention, but that's how it turned out. All right, what are we lacking right now? Pressure is one in five. Heat is 2,880. That means some of that ice might have been melted. Let's go check the. Oh, let me get water real quick. Take. Oh, just eat one of the foods. Alright. There's ice up in this cave that might be melted right now. 
I will say the game has a really good, it does a really, especially the first like two or three hours, the little meter in the top right is literally flying. As long as you're per pushing forward, you will feel like you're constantly making progression. So it does that really well. Like I've not hit a point where I'm like, nothing's increasing. So. If you do decide to play it, one thing I was not, literally did not pay attention to is you find these little blue microchips and you can take them to one of the little monitors and decode them to unlock stuff. I had like an entire chest of them because I didn't realize that I could decode them. I thought they were needed to craft something. So this was ice before. What does this item out? 100 NK. I don't even know what the hell that means. Okay. 5 UK. Seems to be moving. Is it like slowly melting? All right, we're just gonna have to venture further out and get some more stuff. Let me reset my oxygen. There is some more stuff in here, but I can't get it because I need a tier two deconstructor tool. gonna grab everything on the way back oh i need to make the tier the next backpack i don't need magnesium that's like completely jacked to the gills i'm gonna guess the backpack probably cost those crystals that i don't have a lot of because usually when you unlock a next level thing it's usually the stuff that's uh just found Yeah, that's doing good. That was completely dry. Now it's underwater. So I guess that'll be the lake. This entire area will be underwater at some point. And later on, you're supposed to be able to automate the collection of resources. So you can basically, I think... Tell a little robot, go get me titanium, and it'll literally just go get titanium and bring it back. I have no idea how efficient it is, but literally can just set it and forget it. Nice, the grass is already growing. Right, what did I just get? I got a bunch of cobalt. Bit of iron. Dude, that FOV. Are you playing this? What's up, Gumby? Bro, you would love this game. This game, I wouldn't say it's grindy, but it literally has, like, there's so much stuff to unlock, man. And you have to, like, min-max your stuff to have the things go up faster. Did you go back to... Pa Did you try the new Power World update yet? I didn't want... I couldn't watch last weekend because I was out of town. I saw an Instagram post today about it, but I'm here because I saw you online. It's only 17 bucks. There's also a demo for it. It does have one to 10 player co-op. Okay, I need to... Tier five backpack is probably back here. Three super alloy, one titanium. I should have that. Yeah, you can get into the, like, you can set this up later on where you're automating stuff. Like, you have everything. There's a lot, there's a lot to it. Like, I have literally just barely scratched the surface. Because I was watching somebody I know stream it earlier, and I was like, what the hell is all that stuff? I've never seen any of that. All right, right now I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 28. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven. Damn, that went from 28 to 42. That's a 50% increase. 
Uh, what time did I start today? This save has seven and a half hours, I think. I think I had six hours before today, and I've been streaming for an hour and a half. It's got like seven and a half hours. I think you would easily get... Somebody was saying they thought 50 hours. I think if you want to do everything, you, I think you get 100 hours out of it. Especially depending on how like you want to how how well you want to optimize your base and everything. Can I make a better oxygen tank yet? Tier three oxygen. I already have tier four. What do I need to unlock the tier five oxygen? There's got to be a tier five oxygen tank. Look at all this stuff. There's a tier six backpack. This was not even all on here. I think more of this got added. I actually play games, so if I say it's 100, it's like five, uh, 500 to 1,000. Look at all this stuff to unlock. Like there's just, there is a ton to unlock. So the way it works is, um, you have the terraformation, which is in the top right corner. And as that goes up, you unlock the top row Part of that is oxygen, heat, and pressure. That unlocks these different ones down here. It looks like the oxygen's almost unlocked all of them. So it's the only the top one that has a lot. But there's also microchips you find by exploring shipwrecks that give you unlocks as well. Uh, so what do I need to do now? I need to increase. Oh, the biomass is going decently. It's my power level. I have 150. What should I start putting down? Oh, my heat. I have no idea how to convert this stuff. It was telling me I needed... What did I need for that ice to melt? Was it 100 of this? That's going up very slowly. I need to go up faster. The oxygen's not moving hardly at all. How creates oxygen? Oh, the biodome makes 135 oxygen per second. I don't have a lot of super alloy. But I could make that. Can you connect this to your base? I wonder if I can connect this, or if it has to be standalone. Three super alloy can make super alloy, so that's not a huge deal if I have to make it. Two cobalt, one away. Two titanium. I wonder if I can, like, connect it right here. I'm missing the seed, damn it. Yeah, eventually the whole planet will turn green. There will be water everywhere and plants. Wait, that connects right there? Why the fuck want to connect right here? I don't understand why that won't connect. Oh, there it goes. Oh, that's really cutting it close, isn't it? Does Drano work? My tub is clogged. It depends what's down there, man. I don't know. How does this game compare to Forever Skies? I have not touched Forever Skies. I kind of was like waiting for it to 1.0. Alright, what's this do? Oh my god, are you... F Jesus Christ, dude. What game is coming out next that I want to play? I'm not going to be able to... F this game's going to take me like a month to finish it. There's so many things to unlock. This doesn't even include the other building that I didn't build yet. Does this have a door? Can I build a door over here? I probably can. What's the door cost? The door is iron, titanium, silicone. Oh, 
Oh, perfect. Except I can't reach it. I have to build stairs. It's one iron. If you ever heard of a game called Ground is coming to PS4. Yeah, we'll find out if my... Oh, shit. We'll see if my YouTube channel is resurrected by, uh, by the one, by that release. I mean, you've not played it. It will be a good time to come back. I'm just so far, so far from what they've, uh, from what they've showed, I'm not personally interested in it. I'm waiting to see if they have more. Oh, nice. It perfectly connects. Freaking perfect. Okay. Oh, wait, I can put all those plants in here. Allows you to craft bio recipes. I already have that unlocked. So wait, I can move all my plants into here later. Because I have all these plants down here. It's just a new bug or two and nothing much for my take. But you know, I love... No, if you haven't played it since 1.0, there's been a lot added. There's a bunch of new bosses. There's a bu They're adding tier 4 stuff, so... There's a lot to do. How's that going for oxygen? I think I should just go explore more. It's probably the best play. Alright, um... Grab the water out of here. Keep up the work. Thanks, dude. The update is lame, but gonna see Milton stream it. No, I'm not streaming it. Been a lot more positive. Oh, this is, uh, this game's good, though. I'm usually positive if I like something. That's that's the difference. As long as I like a game, I'll be positive about it. Uh, I probably don't need that much food. Usually if I go somewhere, I find food. I'm gonna go over here and see what else is in this ship. Actually, I didn't even empty the chest over here. Yeah, I'm usually not. I'm trying to be more positive. Fair enough. By the way, if you're watching me on YouTube... My plan is to probably stream if I'm gonna if I stream on YouTube going forward, it's probably gonna be on my second channel. I'm gonna do a community post with a link to my second channel. Negative makes money. That is actually true. It's unfortunate. When you're like super critical of things, people click on it. Like if if somebody puts an update if somebody puts a video out about a game and they're like, this update's awesome, it'll get some views. If somebody else puts out if someone of equal like size puts out a video that says this update sucks, it almost inevitably gets more views. Even if they're just completely full of shit and they're not even telling the truth. Like, it's just... That's the way YouTube works. It's ridiculous. That's the way the internet works. People feed on negativity instead of positivity. Toxic is, like, literally the way to go. I don't know why. And But to be fair, I was never being negative to be... I was never being critical to, for clicks. It just so happened that's what got clicks. My criticism of games was always rooted in the fact that I didn't agree with what was going on with them. It had nothing to do with, like, oh, let me criticize this game so I get more clicks. What did I leave in here? Oh, no, that's really that important. See, I told you there'd be food over here. Um, let me go in here and see what else is in here. I need that tier 2 deconstructor tool. Okay. Oh, there's a... How did I miss that earlier? It's telling me I can, like, deconstruct something. Like, I think you can deconstruct a lot of this stuff later. You gotta check every cabinet to make sure there's no, uh... Chips and stuff hidden in there. Because that blue chip unlocks a recipe for something. Oh, I've definitely not been back here. Uranium? Damn, that's a ton of iron. Oh, one of those irons about to go back. Her chip's more important. 
Alright, there's just a chest back there. Oh, this is the way out, huh? So I think I've gotten everything except that one chest. Alright, let me empty it out. I'll go get the last chest and then we're good. You're far from fake. I'm fully aware of your criticism before you blow up on YouTube. Yeah. People are wussies. I think the tier 2 just is RNG. Yeah, I know. Well, it could be good. I could maybe get it right now because I just got two uh, microchips. I'm going to go decode these in a second. I just want to empty. I'm going to make sure I get everything out of there. There was two chests, and I think we're done with this place for now. There's nothing up here, right? Yeah, the little blue chips, it seems like they give you random, random stuff. They have, like, random unlocks. Wait, where was the damn... This is not where I was. Where was I? There's another ladder in here somewhere. Am I blind? God damn it. I like the game, but hate the art style. That is what it is. Last question about a different game than you're streaming, but have you heard of my time games? Like my time at Samrock and my time at Porsche? Uh, I think they're supposed to be pretty decent. I've not heard anything negative about them. I was going to try... Is it My Time at Sandrock? Is the new one. My Time at Porsche is the first one. I think they're both pretty decent. And if you like them, there's also another game called Dinkum. I bought Dinkum, but I haven't played it yet. It's an early access. It's a similar game. All right, do we get everything? So wait, I came up here. And I think this one's clear. Pretty sure this is clear for now. Yeah, they're co-op. I think you would, you probably like them. I saw Sam Rock on Triple I show and was curious about it. I figure you know, but anyway, I have not played I have not played them, but I was they I've looked at them before. Alright, what's important to take back first? I don't have a ton of that. Definitely with the microchips, alloy. Uh I mean I'm gonna take all this back eventually. I guess I'll just go back and forth right now. I'll just take everything. I want the microchips first, though, because I if it gives me the Tier 2 Deconstructor, I can go through the shipwrecks that I haven't been able to clear. I need RNG Jesus to step up right now and give me the Tier 2 Deconstructor. Jaybird, how far are you into the game? It looks worse than Subnautica, and that came out six years ago. I mean, it doesn't look awful. Subnautica probably looks nicer, but I just don't really... I'm not really a graphics snob. It runs okay, and I do have it on ultra settings, and it runs... It, every once in a while, it has, like, a weird stutter, but it runs okay. It looks... I mean, it looks... It is what it is. It's just like a game. You're 10 hours in? Okay. So I'm at, like, seven and a half, eight hours... I disagree. I'd rather have a good community. A good community for what? I miss that. I think people that are fake positive are, are just... Somebody being fake positive is just as bad as somebody being uh, fake overly critical. I might be in business. Nice. More uranium. The 
The only thing this needs, honestly, right now is auto sort and auto deposit. I mean, sorry, auto deposit, craft from storage. That would be great. It is slightly annoying to have to go through everything, keep dumping everything, and remember where everything is. All right, give me the deconstructor tool. Jetpack? I've not even made the first jetpack. What did that just say? Why did you do that to me, Jesus? Why, RN Jesus, did you... F it just gave me tier 2 pinning, which I've literally not used. I also forgot to make... Um... What is the other thing it just gave me? The jetpack. I've not even made the jet. Oh, I can make these. Titanium and two rocket engines. Don't I have two rocket engines? What does the other rocket engine cost? One iridium, two uranium. Titanium. Damn it, I can't get the second one. I don't have enough super alloy again. There was a place that had a bunch of super alloy, but I thought I got all of it. How long does that last? Good god, that has a huge... Is it that it just only lifts you a certain amount? So basically, if I jump off a mountain, I can just do this right before I hit the ground. Nice. Okay, let's dump off the rest of our stuff here. I'll probably eat one of those. I don't need the seeds. to see if I stuck on the trial for four, trial four minutes of use. What? Wait, did you see my did you see my DM about once human? Did you play it? Because the beta is going on for a while, like a couple more weeks. I sent you a DM with a code. Did you not use it? Have you not been on Discord in like a week? I sent you a key. I DM'd you a key on Discord like a week ago. Because I got an extra key. God damn. It should work. I think you just download the launcher and, and put that code in and it lets you in. What is this stuff? Is this just sand? Oh, it's nighttime. I don't know. The planets in the background look nice. I'm, I'm right now. I'm kind of like I'm kind of on the fence about once human. I'm really I really want to see what they do when it when it launches because I'm I'm just really concerned that it's going to be a it's it feels. I don't think they I don't necessarily they said they're not going to they said they're not going to monetize it mobile like a mobile game, but at the same time, I just feel like a lot of the systems in it feel like a mobile game. What the fuck? What am I going to do with all those seeds? Can I sell them or something? Do you have the advanced crafting station? Yeah, but I don't have the tier 2 deconstructor tool. I played Pacific Drive, but I didn't finish it. It was okay. I was get I got frustrated because I got into this loop where I needed to get resources to fix my car. And I would go do a mission to get the resources to fix my car. And by the time I got back from the mission, I had to do the same. It was like a... 
a continuous loop where it was like, there was never enough repair stuff to repair my car. So I was like, I don't know. It was fun, but it was like, it, I mean, it was fun. I just didn't finish it. Kind of seems it's going mobile. I, they said they're not going to make it mobile monetization. But at the same time, daily login rewards. Um, It just seems... I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt and see what happens. If it, if it doesn't have, like, a bunch of mobile game mechanics, then I'll probably try it out. If it does, then I won't. Well, the daily login was just for free stuff. Like, you weren't... Right now, there's daily login stuff. I have not even logged in once. I installed it and did not even... Have not even logged into it. There's something you get for logging in right now. Oh, nice. Look, my little... That little ship's completely underwater. I was not like that when we started. All right, we got a... Bu my seed storage is going to be maxed. Was this iron? Oh, what does it cost to make? Are these worth making? I need to make this thing. I need more super alloy and uh do I have osmium? I'm about to craft some super alloy. I kind of want to make that. This is the advanced station. I have that. It's in the back. I'm trying to ban it completely as daily login is just a manipulation tactic if players remain active. You don't say. That's exactly what it is. Is there anything else I have not placed down? A beacon. Why would you want to destroy items? I could probably use another one of these so I can get more water. I placed all the screens down. I just need to have stuff keep going up. What percent are we at? Oh, that's not moving very quickly. I need that to go faster. Everything's like barely moving. It is 100% true to like, get people to log in. I. Listen, I played Fortnite Save the World for how long? And that was... What did I need eggplants for? I need eggplants for something. Yes, bioplastic nugget. Uh, son of a bitch, I need super alloy. and we're good. How's magnesium? I gotta place this in the water. Let's see what happens.
What did I need? I need mushrooms to make the plastic, right? That back here. Where do you make the plastic? Is it over here? Is that in the... Oh, that must be in that other thing. I need to make... I need more super alloy. I gotta go back to the cliffs over there and see if I can find more. There's a, there was a bunch of super alloy up here. I'm sure I missed some of it. It was up in the cliff. It was just sitting on the ledge. Yeah, daily login is very manipulative. It just it's like you feel like you have to log in, and then when you log in, you're like, okay, I logged in. I guess I should uh I might as well just do something. Like Fortnite Save the World had that. Right? Log in. And then you're there, you're like, oh, I might as well do my daily mission. Oh, this mission's up, I might as well do that. And next thing you know, you're playing for a couple hours. Oh man, this makes traversal a hundred times easier. I don't think I ever went over there. There's literally uranium sitting on the ground over there. There must have been a meteor here. I must be blind. All right, there there should be a bunch of uh should be a bunch of super alloy up on the top here. I need to log into Fallout 76 to do my dailies. Yeah. Now the funny here's a funny story. I had two people ask me if I wanted to do the new the they brought back Survive the Horde for Fortnite, and I was like, yeah, I can do it today or tomorrow, and nobody said they were they wanted to do it. So it's like. Are we not doing it? It was like a game mode they added last year, so it was a it was actually new. And then this year they brought it back, but they made some changes to it. It was actually one of it was actually pretty decent. Can I get up here? No way it's gonna let me up there. We got a phone call for what, like two hours? Good God. Been gone for two hours. Oh, there's water over here. Nice. Or I'm winning. The more water I see, the more I'm winning. We're playing Baldur's Gate 3 instead of studying. Well, you know, I've kind of decided what I'm going to do, too. I'm like, I'm just going to play whatever I want to play. And, uh... There could be Super Alley in there. There should be Super Alley, like, up on these ledges. It's so much better to not force yourself to play something you don't want to. How the hell do I get over there? There's no way I can make that jump. That literally just sucked me to the ground. Son of a bee. What the hell just happened there? Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let me just go to this. There's a, I have a room built up here somewhere. Restore my oxygen. Yeah, it's it's weird. Maybe I have to give it a second when I jump. There, there's a bunch of super alley over there on the ledge. Pretty sure the room's right up here. Alright, 
I gotta get over to these ledges here. I don't know how the hell to get over there. Before I do that, let me just walk around over here and make sure I didn't miss any. I'm almost positive I got all the stuff that was over here. And I did not. Is where it was? Am I blind? I think it's over there to the right. Okay. There's at least one more. Hold on a second, let me get... And that's all of it. Those are just regular resources. I find it funny how this game, built by a small group in comparison, says lighting better than Fallout 76? Really? read this. I'm going to get out. I think I can just go straight this way and get out. This game runs pretty good. It has... I don't want to jinx it, but it literally has not crashed once. I went the wrong way. Okay, that's okay. I have a house. I have a little house up here. Reset oxygen. Um, it's like their engine is holding them back. Yeah, it's okay. Don't worry. Elder Scrolls Six is going to be in the creation engine too. And they'll they'll have surprise Pikachu face when it runs when it runs poorly, and everybody criticizes it. Yeah, I know. I mean, I feel like every resource, you'll eventually get a ton of it, because like I said, I was watching somebody play earlier, and they had, like, the, the next size storage up from what I have, and it they had everything full of everything. Can't wait for the Elder Scrolls to flop, which will make, which basically makes the end of times for Bethesda. It doesn't though, because they're owned by Microsoft, so they'll never go out of business. All right, we're gonna dump the inventory, then I'm gonna go to like somewhere I haven't been yet, I guess. I'm really curious if the Iridium respawns. I don't know if any of this other stuff respawns either. I probably haven't grabbed a lot of it. But I, I'm pretty sure I cleared this entire cave out. And every time I go back in it, there's more of a Iridium. Yeah, I know. I, I don't need it. I'm just saying this cave had a lot of it in it, and every time I come in here, it seems like there's more of it. Maybe I'm maybe I just missed it before. I certainly don't need it. I have like an entire um, locker full of it. I know I didn't even get it all the last time I was in here either because I ran past some.
What the f- Okay. What do you mean? Oh, let me get that okay. You can place miners in certain locations? Yeah, I know. I haven't done that either. I'll have to reallocate resources though, and that may mean they change Change the change they need to get their damn creation engine. The creation engine is just a terrible engine. I don't understand why you would not move off of it. It was okay, I guess, like however many years ago. Not anymore. I need super alloy again? I can't remember. Shit, I have too much iron. Is it ever necessary to grow this much food? Even Unity runs better than Creation? I mean, what was it? The CD Projekt Red had like the, was it the Red Engine or something? Which was supposed to be better than the Creation Engine? And that even they were like, they dropped it to go to the, uh, to Unreal. Which I don't know, Unreal's got its pluses and minuses. Unreal games tend to not be optimized very well, depending. Sometimes they are, sometimes they aren't. All right, what the hell am I supposed to do? Filling up my inventory again. What do I need? That's only gone up like 8%. I mean, I can, it'll eventually go up. I just need it to go up faster. It's hard to tell with these. It's hard to tell what's what. Like I don't know if twenty eight eighty of the of the heat is as equal is better than eight hundred of that. I'm not a scientist. I don't even know if these are I, are these real measurements here. The biomass seems to be one point nine eight. That's got to be low. I'm looking at energy wise. I have 90-ish left. I need to build this. This will let me do some stuff. Living compartment glass. Wait, so I can, can I just put those on the ceiling? Oh, nice. Look at that. We got skylights now. We're upgrading. Let me just waste all my resources on co completely cosmetic stuff. Excellent. Alright. Um. So I haven't made that yet. It's telling me I unlock level... Biodome 2. I need fertilizer, bacteria, and sulfur, which means I need to make this. This is the thing that's roadblocking me. Two osmium, three super alloy. Build this on top. So it would connect there.
I need algae. Hold on, is this thing down here producing algae? And I haven't been collecting it? It says this is supposed to be producing algae. What the hell is this stuff? Where do I get algae from? I can't collect this. That's not producing algae? Algae generator. Grows underwater algae. Oh, I'm blind. Okay. You can... Okay, let's do it. Unreal is good at single player, but does it take more optimization? Which they have a lot of overhead for? How many just don't optimize like they used to? Uh, I mean, they use it for... What the hell? It's used for whatchamacallit. It runs Fortnite. Fortnite runs fine. Wait, what do I need this stuff for? Why do I need fertilizer? What am I doing with that? Oh, I need to make the tier 2 biodome. Damn, that makes 1,450 oxygen and 11 plant. Well, that's a massive freaking upgrade. I need two fertilizer, two bacteria. So I just need some water. Probably just pull one of these lockers in. Just when you think you you're good to go, there's just more and more and more and more and more. All right, so we have those. Now I need two fertilizer. I don't have enough algae, so I gotta let more of that grow. I should just build some, uh, some storage in here. or is it perfectly underneath of it? It's going to trigger me if it's clipping through. Seems to be okay. Probably should make more of these. What's this thing cost? One of like, oh fuck, do I have any super alloy? Iron, silicon, magnesium. Cobalt, aluminum. That gives me eight water. That's good. So I need more super alloy. Where have I not been? I've not gone to those mountains over there. No new messages. Uh, wait, I can make the tier two 
satellite, can I? But I probably need Super Ally for that. Oh, wait. Can I make the plastic stuff in here? Yeah, I guess that's what the mushrooms are for. Oh, wait. The fuck? That costs one. Silicone of water. So I need to start growing more vegetables. That's what I need to do, too. Let's do that. Let's set up... Where's the thing that grows food? Water, iron, and... Aluminum. It costs 15 energy. Shit, I can only make two of them? Just relocate all these over here so they're all in the same spot. Too lazy, so I'll leave them where they are for now. Okay, two. go to I don't I wonder if the mountains probably aren't melted all the way if I should go the other way I'm gonna go towards where the uh See what the satellite costs. See if I can make the super satellite too. Map information rock displays points of interest. Can't do that. So I just need super alloy. I think I'm gonna go that. Damn, that whole thing's underwater. Didn't you go to WrestleMania? Yes, I did. Cups right here. WrestleMania 40 somewhere. So is it on there? I didn't even know. I have no idea how much that cup even cost, by the way. It was probably like 10 or $12. I seen The Undertaker put the rock in the grave. Yeah, Undertake, unfort The Undertaker was not a surprise because... Um, <clears throat> he was in one of the suites, like, below where I was sitting, so people saw him. I don't think I've ever been over there, but I'm not going to swim. We're just going to go this way. I have a little pod set up over here. Oh, this whole thing's filling up. Water's coming quick. Yeah, it was a good show. The only person that didn't show up was Stone Cold. 
Everybody thought Stone Cold was going to come out and stun The Rock, and that and then the match will be over. But he was the only one that didn't show up for some reason. The only kind of Stone Cold I like is ice cream. Damn, bro! I got all these resources in here too. Okay. Let's just go this way and see what's going on. There's a chest back there I have not looted. Can this have something of... Is that the hell was that back there? It has nothing of this. That looks like a building. So I think if I set up a miner here, it'll give me aluminum. That looks like aluminum. I have not been in here. Have I been in here? Are this stuff's not, why is there why is this empty? I can scan there's no I've never seen one of those empty. I don't think I've been over here. Anybody play small in? Yeah, it was okay. Wasn't anything uh special. Can I get this or nah? Surely this will be the one. Surely this will be the one that gives me the, uh, the tier 2 deconstructor tool. It's like the one thing that's, that I need. When is the next, why would there be an update for it? It's been fully released. I think it's done. Did they say they were going to keep updating it? Oh wait, they are supposed to be weren't yeah, that is true. They're supposed to be updating it. That's why they uh They were making all these changes after 1.0 that should have been made before. I think it's supposed to be soon. Maybe it's gonna be this month. I completely forgot about that game, to be honest. Um Well, we're gonna take this chip back, because this chip could be the key to uh Deconstructing more things. Yeah, I didn't even finish the game, honestly. I just didn't like it. I didn't even see anybody streaming it either. I'm trying to think back. The people I know that stream survival games, I don't remember anybody streaming it. I kind of feel like it just came out. Nobody cared, and that was the end of it. It was... They're done. Got all the trophies? Damn. Alright, please give me the Tier 2 Deconstructor. It's all I need right now. Offense. Offense. You should, because then you'll be the only one making the content so people will watch. Nobody's playing the game. 
How many people are playing it on Steam right now? Check right now and tell me how many people... Do you think the game would be more fun in cup? It's content is more for or is the con is which game? Are you talking about this game or are you talking about something else? Cobalt Storm? Planet Crafter? Uh, I think it's... Um... It's honestly kind of hard to... It feels like... So, like, playing playing with other... Playing with a group of people... I don't know if you would progress faster because... One of the limiting factors... Uh, you might be able to... You'll probably progress faster. You'll certainly be able to clear areas faster because one of the things I have to do playing by myself is I have to go to, like, a wreck... Like, I go to this, a, a wrecked spaceship or something, and then I have to clear everything out, and then I have to bring it all back, so it takes, like, three or four trips sometimes. Obviously, if you had more people, you'd be able to do it faster, but at the same time, you also need to have water and food for people. But then if you have more people collecting resources, you pr I don't know. I, it feels pretty balanced either way. I mean, it's been fine solo so far. This is just dropping cobalt, which I don't really care about. It's dropping iron, too. I don't really care about that either. I'm going to make a small base over there, though. I need two iron, three iron, one titanium, two titanium. So. Heaps of people playing small end now? I don't think so. I It probably has less than a thousand people playing it on Steam. Yeah, I think this game you can play with other people or by yourself either way. I don't think it... I think you'll be fine. It seems really balanced. I'm going to buy the game to play with a friend. Thank you. Yeah, 100%. If you play with somebody else, you'll, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. The only thing you need to do is just make sure you're getting... You gotta get the- you gotta bait- well, man, that's probably not even true either. Like, I was concerned I was gonna run out of food, because you start off with a small amount of food. But honestly, when you explore all these little wreckages and stuff, you find food also. So you'll probably be fine with two people. My- my tip is to, uh, build, like, one little room places like this to restore your oxygen. Until later on when you actually don't have to worry about oxygen, because you will eventually not have to worry about oxygen. 283 player 24 hour peak for small land. Yeah, small land's dead as dead AF. It it when they when the 1.0 came out, people didn't even play it. That's a interesting looking structure there. A bunch of random rocks sticking straight up out of the ground. How to ruin your game. Seriously, he's coming to listen. Well, I mean, there's just too many early access games at this point. Did I miss? I got everything out of there. Let's see if there's any more buildings down here. I'm pretty sure I cleared this one. down here. Oh, what is that? Okay. Can I build anywhere?
the hell is this stuff? Money, I need that. What is that? Sulfur, we need that. Oh, you must be able to mine for this stuff in here. Looks like Subnautica without the scary creatures. Yeah, holy shit, two rods? I also deconstruct the chests every time. That way I know I've already sort, uh, sort, uh, searched them. I think my biggest tip is to literally just set up little outposts for yourself. That way you can grab everything you need, go back in, restore your oxygen. If you're playing with two people, that's probably going to be way easier to get everything out. Got a hidden chest anywhere? So the osmium and sulfur seem to be behind caves that are melted, that need to be melted. All right, I will also get all this stuff. Is that a chest in there? I think because that's up there, I think if I drill in here, I'll get osmium. There's a bunch of iridium also. Put the stuff in this is the stuff I'm gonna take back with me that I care about the most. But yeah, it's it is uh it does have a very similar feel to Subnautica. I will say I like it more than Subnautica. I don't know how many other people would say that, but... My main issue with Subnautica was, like... I never... I, I, you would just go off and, like, wander around and look for stuff. And mi oftentimes miss things because they were, like, well hidden. Does this not let me stay up in the air? In this game, I just go in any direction and I find something I need, generally, so. Shrink the early access timeline to only be early access for a few months and drastic improvements will be had. That's just, at this point, it's not going to happen because so many damn games are early access that it's just become commonplace. That's just how it's going to be. I don't think that's ever going to change now. The reality is these games come out, people buy them in early access. And then they just don't, they'll play them for a little bit and then they just don't care if they ever come back to them. It's kind of weird, but it's how it is. You can go look at the charts for every single early access survival game. They almost never, almost never re come back to their peak player count after they originally launched, if they peaked early. Every once in a while it'll happen, but like most new games, they peak for the early access release and they're lucky if like 15 or 20% of the players come back for when it's finished.
Alright, let's see what's up this turn here. That looks like there's like a chest in there. Oh shit, this is like a new biome. doesn't look right. Am I supposed to be able to walk through this? Probably not. Oh shit, you gotta be joking. I was like, what? I just like clipped through a rock and I'm stuck? Okay, uh, I'm not gonna be stupid greedy here. Take back what I found. And come back up this way. Yeah, didn't early access used to be like, oh, hey, our game's about to be finished. Uh, like a month before release, we'll let you guys check it out. And then you can provide feedback. That was it. This is COBOL, right? Uh. This is going. Guess we'll take the iridium. It's not too bad. What's that? 10, 13, 10, 13 of each one. Let's go up this way. I don't think I went over here. There's probably nothing, but every once in a while they shove a chest in a corner. Although I can't pick anything up at this point, huh? Oh, wait, this is a little pass. Oh, I wonder if this is going back to the lake. It is. It's the shortcut back to where I was. Look at that. I found a nice little shortcut. Oxygen deplete under here? I guess it doesn't matter because my oxygen's depleting all the time. I'd love to be like I'd love for early access games to be like uh three to six months. So they the games basically feature complete and you are just testing to make sure there's no critical bugs and to make sure the game feels like it's balanced. Then they put out like two or three updates, call it a day, done. It does get a little tiresome having to do three to six, uh, like three years, two to three years of early access. Looks like there's more algae already, perfect. Uh, what did I just get a bunch of? Got some iridium. Some rods. This game has weather. Alright, let me see if that algae's down there. Grab that. I trying to make the biodome too. I mean, granted, this rain doesn't look doesn't look that great, but at least it's raining. It's making the ground look slick. What 
What did I make fertile? Uh, I need sulfur and two eggplants. So they should be finished, right? Didn't I cook them all? Good. You have to make biodome too. Okay, I need one more fertilizer, then we're good. I might as well just keep the food back here. Because I'm probably not going to eat that much of it. Well, at least the one... Oh, wait, I already have enough. Can I make that? That uses 75 energy. What does the first one use? 37, so I think I might be up to close to the limit right now. I am, but I can actually make some more F, F, F. I need super alloy. There's got to be a place close by that has a bunch of super alloy. where I just was, see if there's anything over there. I don't, th I don't think there's been any other caves nearby that I can think of that I missed. Although I guess, let me go check this one real quick to see if it's, if it melted more. So this entire area is going to be underwater at some point, like right up to my base. It's already been three hours. This game, time's flying by playing this. <sighs> well, I actually, I may stream tomorrow night. I may stream tomorrow night. Um, I already recorded the video for tomorrow for the survival game update video. My son has a, what the hell's tomorrow, Saturday? have a baseball game at... This is not melted anymore. Wait, this melted. We have a so baseball game at like 2.30. I might stream... I might stream... If I... I'm waiting to see... I'm waiting to see... I would say this. I'm, I'm likely to stream tomorrow because I don't think there's anything else going on. And... I will either play this or I will do the Survive the Horde mode in Fortnite. But I've literally not heard anything from anybody that wanted to play Fortnite, so. By the way, Sarah, how's uh, Baldur's Gate 3? What's your, uh, there's even more ice over there. 
him. It's good. What are you playing? Which, which character? What class are you playing as? I'm a wolf elf rain. Wolf? Wood elf ranger. Okay. Okay, this is new. Is this poison or anything? No. Oh shit, my oxygen's almost out. Oh, I'm gonna die. I was literally not paying any attention. I think I have a little shack right outside this cave, hopefully. close. I was literally not paying any attention to the fact that my my oxygen was down to zero. Wait, are you going to play uh, Dar Dragon's Dogma 2 also? Oh wait, there was also there was a minor update for um, Valheim. There was a minor update for Valheim. Okay, a smart thing to do would be to build a shack over here. There's just sulfur laying on the floor here, okay? There's literally no titanium? See what's going on down here. I really just need um I need I need a freaking whatchamacallit. I need super alloy. That looks safe. What the actual hell is this? Can this be a super alloy pit? No. Is there something hidden behind this dust? There sure is. But where's the super alloy? Microchip. Every game that has a waterfall always has a secret behind it.
Alright, let's not be greedy. I think the little box is up here. For your second channel for Valheim streaming. It's ridiculous. It's actually ridiculous that streaming on my main channel on YouTube has resulted in me like net losing subscribers. Other than that time I asked people to unsubscribe because I wasn't playing grounded anymore, people were just like, I don't know, they're just out. Uh alright, let me go back. That fabric. I haven't seen a lot of fabric to be honest. Okay, this is the way out. Alright, so we know through here is a bunch of sulfur and there's more osmium. I got a whopping three super alloy. I checked the little edge over here just to make sure there's none in the corner. Just looks like a bunch of aluminum. This little stutter there. There's got to be like a biome that just has super alloy everywhere. Actually, this looks like a cliff up here. I'll just keep going back. I didn't even clear this place out yet, did I? doesn't look familiar. Oh, wait. Hold up. Oh, this is the Iridium Cave. Okay, it's all connected. Shit, I left all my good stuff back in that other box. Valheim just had an update for, like, Unity and stuff like that, and they're gonna be... The Ashlands update's gonna be soon. I think it's gonna be like in May. May or June. Grab. G. Tori full. What is this game about? Uh, you're a prisoner that was dropped on this planet, and your sentence is to um, terraform it so that it's inhabitable again. It was basically your punishment. So they just drop you down on this planet by yourself, and they're like, fix it. What did I need? Oh, I need a super alloy to make this thing bigger. Please give me the tier 2 deconstructor tool. Sounds like the worst punishment. I think the alternative was like death, so. Doesn't sound terrible. This gives me movement speed. Where are they? Two super alley and explosive powder. Bitch. I need to make this biodome. First, I need to make this. 
That's what I need a super ally for. Shit. That's more important because I can't... I've run out of power. I mean, I can just make some of this, I guess. I'll probably end up doing that. Uh, what was it? Two water? like a floor out here. Oh, I can just set this on top. There you go. That's the worst. It Surely a meteor won't hit this and make it explode and kill me. Where's Ivan? I don't know. I haven't... I don't know. He, um... He, uh, he, he said something about WrestleMania last week and then didn't say much else after that, so I don't know what he's doing. Okay, so I need to make... I should have enough energy now to make the uh, thing. Yeah, I'm a plus 100, so I need to make... Oh shit, if I make this, I gotta remove these plants though. I'm gonna assume they. I'm gonna... Let me, uh. I'll just make it connected to it to see what it looks like. One super alloy. And the super alloy costs one cobalt. Um iron. Titanium. Probably looking at feed picks. Wow. How does it not come with a damn door? about wait what does this do hold on this was the biodome generates tree bark what the fuck what do i need tree bark for son of a bitch the recorder worked nice uh-oh no i don't care about that is that popping up what do i need tree bark for Container. Okay, it's generating tree bark. I mean, it's also generating a ridiculous amount of 1450 oxygen. My oxygen. Like, do I have to put trees in here? Or, like, I don't know what the hell's happening. Let's just let it go and see if anything grows. Tree bark to make bark. Bark's root beer. Tree bark will be needed for making seeds. Do I have to do anything with this or does it just run? Do I have to insert some like do I have to insert something in here? Do I have tree seeds? Do 
I have to make tree seeds. I don't know if I have any tree, um... See if these go in the slot. If they don't go in the slot, it probably just produces it. Just collect them once in a while. So I don't so I don't need to put anything in there. Okay. Thank you. Oh, that's gone up significantly. It was like, when I started, it was like, I want to say it was like close to zero when I started today, didn't I? It's already up to like... 30%. It's already up like 60% in a couple hours. Okay, I need to go back and get all that stuff that I left behind. You know what I have not done is save the game. See, let me do this. Let me quit the game completely, go to the bathroom, and then I'll boot it back up. I haven't restarted. I have no idea if there's any kind of like issues with not restarting it for a while. It's loud as hell. I empty my inventory and sit in the middle of a room in the base and let it run if I need to do something. Because if you die, you're right where... Wait, so you're telling me what I should do is just let this game run overnight? I should just let it run overnight while I'm sleeping for like seven or eight hours. <clears throat> I guess I'll wa I guess I'll watch the uh, 
I guess I'll watch that show at some point, huh? The, um... Maybe I'll watch Fallout after I'm done playing this tonight. I mean, at some point, you have to... Like, at some point, you have to keep building stuff, right? Because if you don't, you will... You'll just run out of, uh... You'll hit a cap, right? Like, you won't be able to keep going. Like, this number, these numbers will just stop going up. At some point. Where they'll just go up so slowly that you can't even... How is this stuff unlocked? I don't have any of this stuff unlocked. I need... 25. 80T. <clears throat> Okay, these are going to start unlocking soon. <clears throat> How much do you actually know about Fallout lore? I don't know anything. I've literally not played any of the games. So for me, it's like a whatever. I don't really care. You start replacing stuff with higher tier stuff? Yeah, I know. Like I said, I was watching somebody stream it earlier, and they had a very compact base that had, bu that had like, literally, I didn't recognize any of the stuff in it. The weird thing is, like, when you... I was expecting the Biodome 2 to replace the first one. But they're... I need both of them to be able to craft everything. Like, I thought the Advanced Workbench would replace their the set Tier 2 Workbench. But it didn't because... It had a... The Tier 2 one doesn't craft the same stuff. As the Advanced. That's all there. Did I have another... Did I build another one down here? You don't craft anything in the Biodome 1? <clears throat> oh, it just shows progression. Well, why doesn't the second one also show progression? That's the thing. What a chest in here? No. Nuclear reactor? I am so- I was literally supposed to log back in and uh... I was supposed to log back in and make the damn Oh, no, I already did that. Three hundred and thirty-one energy. That's like four of those. I think I can make the explosive powder, too. I'm just going to scout around the edges and see if there's anything. So the, the resources don't respawn, right? Doesn't seem like they do. Jackpot. Oxygen multiplier? Insert this fuse and optimizer to boost the... I don't even know what that is. Oh, I didn't go this way. Is this lead back to that other? <clears throat> okay, so I've been there. This is all just connected. So what you're saying is I should, I should, I should learn the lore of Fallout 
and then watch the show and then complain about how it's not following the lore? Is that what you're telling me? It's Ivan. He's here. Hooray. Ivan, have you finally stopped watching? Have you finally stopped watching AEW after they embarrassed themselves by making CM Punk, Punk look even better? Please tell me. Let me just make sure there's not another chest. Why am I playing this complicated ass game? How is this game complicated? This game's not complicated at all. You literally just unlock stuff and then go explore and it just keeps unlocking stuff. There's literally nothing complicated about it. Honestly, this is like a game that I feel like anybody, anybody with any like inkling for how to play a video game will complete it. It's not like it's super challenging or anything. At least it hasn't been to this point. Chest back here. A and W, A W embarrassed CM Punk. No, they didn't. Literally every, every A W apologist YouTube channel was like, I can't not believe they aired that footage. It made them look so bad. Why did they do that? There was no gain from it. It was hilarious. They popped a rating. Great for one week. They're not, they don't go up. What are you talking about? Their last four weeks before this week, they were, they were, they're getting under 800,000 viewers. When they used to get over a million, they used to get what? Like 1.1, 1.2 million or something like that. Literally a dead brand. It's a dead brand, bro. It's over. It's okay. There can only be num there can only be one number one. No, they were over a million. The other thing is like their ratings are also bullshit because like the Big Bang Theory has like uh brings like a million people into the show. And then after like 15 minutes, a hundred or two hundred thousand people dip. Wait, what did I unlock? I unlock something. <clears throat> oh, this. Nuclear reactor. Three uranium rods. I actually can probably... One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I almost have enough. I don't know what that is. If you look at ratings overall, everything is way down, but wrestling is on fire. Tell yourself whatever you need to. Okay. Damn, my sulfur chest is already overflowing. If I recycle, if I recycle one of them, I can make that. Mm. How was WrestleMania heard? There was 1.5 million people. No, there was only 70,000. They did not exaggerate. They used an accurate number. They didn't say there was 30,000 more people than were there, which was would be clearly false. It was uh, great. Should uh, you should have went to it last year when it was in LA. What do I have to do now? Once this unlocks.
Lake Water Collector collects and filters water from water surfaces. Geez, I'm not even close to that. Halfway to that. A little more than halfway to that. Not even close. My heat is not. Wait. PPB. Yeah. Oh, wait, I don't even need that biodome one. I could just ditch that thing. Should I just ditch the bot? I mean, it's... I guess it's not doing any harm. Yeah, this is kind of useless. Other than the fact that it's generating a little bit of oxygen. I, uh, yeah, it's generating 10% of what this one is. Did we get any bark yet? Does that unlock anything? Ivan, you want to play Fortnite tomorrow? The Vine and Church were like, want to do the new game mode. But neither one of them... Told me they were gonna play. You wanna duo the survive the horde mode? There's a new banner that we don't have. The lake is slowly getting larger. Yeah, we're capped out on algae. I'm gonna need, um I just got back from being out of town all week. I don't know what's going on. They brought back Survive the Horde. It was the one they added last year. But they added, like, new stuff to it or something. I don't know. I mean, if they don't... If nobody says anything, I'm not going to plan on playing it. I don't know what the hell they're doing. Do I get the next storage container? That looks weird. Not put that there. What the freaking what? You know, this has to be the last live now since you said it. I no, it's the last live. See, if you showed up and listened, you wouldn't see the message. You missed the intro. You get the next storage container by doing space trading. It has 80 spots. Yeah, why were you streaming? What is this stuff? Nuggets. Bio nuggets. That just sounds disgusting. No, I'm, I've decided that I'm going to repurpose my second channel on YouTube for live streaming only. Well, live streaming, and then if I ever, if I have a live stream and I want to make videos out of that stuff, I'm just going to put it in the second channel because it didn't do well on the first channel. Uh, because, or on the channel I'm on now, because for whatever reason, so. So tomorrow, I'm probably going to stream tomorrow. And I'm going to stream on the second channel. I just got to get this stuff set up. I have to do space trading, which I have no... Do I have to send rockets up for that? Are there are new rockets that I've unlocked. Let me see if I've unlocked new rockets. Yeah, I kind of... I think that's what I want to do. The, the gist of it was basically... When do I trade? Is trading not anytime? Do I not get to trade anytime soon, I guess? This game's pretty good. It's only like 16 bucks. So, yeah. Well, I showed my schedule earlier. Literally, li there's lit. I'm not going to be able to trade anytime soon. Literally, my, like. Next week is a wipe. 
except for Friday. After that, it looks like Wednesdays and Fridays and every other Saturday, I am able, I have like nothing going on as of right now. That just doesn't, that doesn't mean anything. The Saturdays might be wiped too, so. More likely than that, I'll probably just stream on Wednesdays and maybe Fridays. So at this point, I need, I just need super alloy. I'm gonna craft that shit, cause... Um... Wait, I can't even make the super alloy rod yet. There must be another crafting table I have not unlocked. Three hundred and fifty oxygen, twenty three plants. That's double the oxygen, more than du triple the oxygen. Jesus Christ, it's it's like thirty x the plant. I just need to build the nuclear reactor. What is W and F? I don't even know that. Wednesdays and Fridays. Well, Fridays are dog shit, to be completely honest. The fact that anybody's here, um... It should be somewhere in the blueprint screen. Oh god, that's not- I'm not- that's 750. I'm, I'm not even close to that. Last stream or last PC stream? Damn, everybody just shows up. No, last stream on this channel. I can't get the fu- Where do I get the tier 2 deconstructor? There's gotta be another plane wreck around here somewhere. This is my house. I've been there. I've cleared that. Is that the giant sand pit I was just in? I don't think I've been over there. I'm missing blueprints. Thank you for becoming a member, Ryan. Appreciate it, dude. Oh, you're purple? What? Is he the long- he might be the longest member. Guess I shouldn't have done that then? Well, YouTube's stupid because if you have multiple channels on YouTube, a channel membership should go across all of them. I don't know why they don't do that. Have I cleared that one out? Where am I? Just keep going to the right. I feel like I've been through there. This isn't even showing anything up. There might be stuff here and it's not showing up. Wait, so can I not, can I make the tier two rocket? The giant sand pit is where I built my base last season. That would be awesome, what? Yes, it would be. I need three super alloy. Two compasses. I'm gonna do that. I can make the super alloy. Ryan, I thought you were gonna start streaming again too. What the hell happened? Super alloy requires. Ryan, aren't you coming back this week? You gotta come back this week. For the final update. It's time. 
I need iridium and two, uh, here's the ammo, okay? Wait, what? Last stream on this channel? No, I'm not streaming on my YouTube channel anymore. I'm gonna stream on Twitch and on my second YouTube channel. That way I can, uh, that way when I don't, like, necessarily stream a game, I can, um, I don't know, people might still watch, who the hell, we'll see what happens. Mother fudger. What did I need for that thing? I need another super alloy again. Is that what I needed? California is killing us. We're moving in two years. To answer your question in our statement, I planned a 522 stream. 522, that's a month and a half from now. You're planning that far in advance? If you hold control while crafting, you can craft quickly without backing out of the menu. Works for building too. Okay, thank you. Oh, I need a compasses. Wait, this. I need to make two compasses. Please, God, don't tell me these take super alloy. I'll be so mad. Okay, the compass is silicon, magnesium, double aluminum. Deal with it? I dance a long ass timeout. I didn't craft the compass. God damn it. I mean, he's planning on streaming in a month and a half. That doesn't mean it's going to happen. Let's launch her off. I wonder what this does. Actually, does this actually make the map better? Does it extend out? What's the verdict so far? I 100% recommend this. It's like 16 bucks. Easily get your money's worth. It's been fun so far. He better. There's too many people waiting. All right, let's check the map and see how much better it is now. Let's me zoom out way further. It still doesn't show me. Is there no? There's a crash over there. I'm literally looking for crashes because I need the damn blueprint for um deconstructor. Lore specialist nightmare finding a clock depicting in story time to compare to established timeline lore. Uh oh. I can't stream this weekend. It's April's 40th birthday. Okay. What about next week? Is that the edge of the map, the black line there, or does it keep going? Maybe that's as far as it scans. What's up, Nafti? I'm doing good. This game's uh, pretty fun so far. Oh, that looks all melted. I haven't been through there. Okay, so that must be stuff I can't see yet because the satellite's not far enough out. There's eclipses, traffic, war center. It's tough. Keep. Did you watch WrestleMania, Ryan? I guess I'm going to go... Up there and see what's going on up there. I 
need somebody here collecting this food for me. That's much less than $25. Of course. Did you see me at WrestleMania, Ryan? Here's my nice WrestleMania cup. I have no idea how much this costs. It was probably like $15. Most of them were SmackDown matches. Ivan, you're just jealous that anything but elite wrestling sucks. Just stop. Stop coping. You're making yourself look foolish. How was it? It was great. It was a little cold the first night, but other than that, it was great. All right, we're going uh, this way. You really think Bobby Lashley team? No, um, no, they have to have some filler matches just to get people on the show. I watched. Okay, there were th there were seven matches the first day and six matches the second day. I watched every match the second day. I skipped one match the first day. Which match did I skip the first day? This should be very easy because it was very cold outside. So we went inside and miss, like, skip one entire match. What's the future? I mean, the only result that I was, like, the only result that I was, like, this is, like, I didn't agree with was Gunther losing to Sami Zayn. I thought that was just weird. Uh, if they were going to have Gunther lose, I think he should have lost to Gable. Other than that, um, I mean, unless they're going to push him, if they're going to push him to like, if he's going to, if like he faces Damian Priest and beats him for the, the world championship, then I'm fine with that. The rest of the matches, uh, they were, the results were like fine. The Uso match was terrible. Yeah, but the, this is the thing. I've heard everybody say the Uso match was bad, but... When Jey Uso came out, people literally lost their shit. Like, he had a very... He got a very good, uh, reaction when he came out. Gable wins next week? I don't know. I gotta grab stuff to, uh, build uh, another house up here. You're going to attend double or nothing? Why would you punish yourself like that? Yeah, I don't know if Gable goes heel. Wait, so which match did I skip, Ivan? Alright, I need three iron. I need one more iron. There was one match on the first night that as soon as I saw the lineup, I was like, that's when we're going inside and taking a break. It's stuttering a little bit. What the fudge? The rain is annoying. It already stopped. Oh. Let's take a gander at what's down here. Please let there be super alloy everywhere. So I need to set up a house. Bianca, Jade, and Naomi are the Andrade. Yeah, it was the women's tag team match. What an absolute dog shit, completely worthless match. Did not even belong on the card. I'll be honest though, the Mysterio match was also, I did not care about that either. There were too many... The only thing I would say was there were too many tag team matches. Like, way too many tag team matches. Like, half the matches were tag team, and I'm like... Yeah, I don't know about this. Okay, let's... 
Let's grab some iron to make a chest. It's not iron. They're mostly SmackDown matches. I wanted to do picks with you. I figured you'd be hyped. What say you on vertical streaming? Uh, I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing YouTube shorts or any of that shit anymore. So, if you want to be discovered on YouTube shorts, go ahead. There's literally, like, zero conversion from YouTube shorts to, um, people watching your regular videos. What are the chances I get lost in here? This ice? Oh, purple. I haven't seen this yet. I don't even know what this stuff's for. I haven't even seen it in a crafting recipe. I want them to come... Wait... Why the fuck does it do that sometimes? You can't grab stuff. Is this where I just came from and I missed a chest? It's gonna have five super alloy in it. it has none super alloy in it. it does have a 400% seed though. I don't care about them watching my writers and I want them to come to lives. I mean, okay, I don't know what to tell you. I lost all my fake support since I stopped supporting them. Did you lose all the Oilers? Just work hard. Just work hard like you are and keep kicking ass. I don't know. It was weird. I found that, like, um, YouTube shorts do absolutely nothing for my channel except get people to subscribe for YouTube shorts. They don't watch. They There's some conversion between YouTube shorts and videos. There's literally zero. If you weren't here earlier, I explained why. Um, I can show it again in a minute. I explained why. Streaming on this channel on YouTube is like, it's actually, I think it's detrimental. I've actually been losing subscribers. Okay, that one's just bugged out. I'll tell you. Is this where I just came from? Can there please be super alloy somewhere? I just need super alloy. Fertilizer, super alloy. I told you years ago why I stopped doing shorts. Well, no, because the thing was, shorts... Well, also, it depends on the shorts you're doing. I got subs for my one short that hit over 5k. I don't think it impacts channel unless the short has... Well, the this is the reality. Most people... Most people watch... People... There's... Some people on YouTube watch everything. Like, I watch... Mostly videos. I watch... A few streams and I will occasionally watch uh, YouTube shorts a lot of people tend to watch like I think most people don't watch streams M many people many people watch videos and many people watch shorts but a lot of people don't watch both or so it seems Can there just be like a giant note of super alloy up here? Please. 
Music's actually pretty good in this game. Here we go. Three Super Alloy. Jackpot. Damn. The rest of this stuff is shit. There's a million titanium up here. Holy shit. Don't say anything too important. I got a dog three. Dogs times three. Okay, I'm literally just looking for microchips. I need the tier 2 deconstructor so I can finish clearing out this goddamn um, spaceships. I don't have the attention span for fruit fly. My younger son literally just sits there and, and flips through YouTube short after YouTube short after YouTube short. I'm like, what are you doing? Like, he doesn't even watch them for like, he'll watch one out of every 10. And the others are literally like, no joke. One second, click, swipe, 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 swipe. Oh, jackpot. Two super alloy. I'm going to greed the water to the last second because it fully fills it up. Why can't I suck water out of the ground? Can I suck water up and just drink it? Shorts for gaming isn't great unless it's a moment. Yeah. I literally unlisted like half my YouTube shorts recently because I had some that were getting like a lot of views, a lot of interaction. They actually made some money, which is not normal for YouTube shorts unless you're getting millions of views. But they were literally not attracting people that were going to watch my... They weren't going to watch... Oh shit, my oxygen! They weren't going to watch my regular videos. Why is there no in... I'm literally going to die from oxygen. Why does it not tell me my oxygen's critical until the last freaking minute? Is this where my little house is? Motherfucker, come on. The house is like right here. No! No, you son of a bitch! Fucking A, god damn it. it. It tells me I'm thirsty at like 30%. Wait, did it put me? Oh my god, it put me in the last place I was. Holy shit. Where did I die? Wait, did I die here? No, that's not everything. Where's the rest of my inventory? Okay, let's go back. Gotta go south. Just gonna grab titanium because there's a shit ton of it up here. Three iron, two titanium, one... I have a shelter. I've literally been placing shelters down periodically. But I don't pay attention to my oxygen. Because it doesn't warn you until... By the time you get warned on oxygen, it's too late. It's like... Oxygen low. Oxygen critical. You're dead. How close am I to getting the... Where oxygen doesn't matter? Like, I've built... Like, what I've been doing is I build these little shelters like this. I have a little shelter every so often so that I can restore my oxygen. Also, to, I also store stuff. This is how I've been, um, supposed to be going south, right? This way. You got a while? Damn it. Yeah, I, I usually have enough to build a one-room shelter, and I try to put, have storage in there as well. So I try to get like a couple extra iron to make like a locker.
Okay, we're good. <sighs> oh, I haven't been up... Have I been up that... I really don't think I've been up there, either. That looks really high. I, I should just carry, like, an oxygen thing. I don't know why I don't carry the oxygen replenishing thing. I never do. That's only, like, the third time I've died. Two times the oxygen. One time because I didn't have any water. It's also the gate, the, the bar doesn't, the bar doesn't increase when you get more oxygen because you go from like a hundred to, this is like the third level oxygen thing. So it's like, you don't really realize it's going down that fat. Like you don't realize how low it is. Somehow I feel like I had more super alley than that. I don't even know what this other what is this other stuff? Pulsar quartz. Oh, I have enough to make the nuclear reactor now. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Shit, I need one more. Oh, these are the 400% flowers. So I should put them in. Wait, never mind. What am I doing? I have 400% flowers outside. It's gold. Nope. I feel like I can replace these at this point. I don't even need them. That area point, yeah, I know I got a lot of the super alley there, but I don't. I haven't been on the very top, so maybe I missed some. I'm gonna go over there now and just see if I've uh, if there's any like that I just didn't see. Whatever happened to the Sons of the Forest? Uh, it came out and then nobody cared about it. It literally came out, was people played it for like two days, and then it was done. There is also a super alley clave in the cliff face connected to the desert. Like a lot of super alloy? I mean, I can make it. It's not like I can make it. It's not a big deal. Uh, I'm going to grab the tree bark, the water, and then go. Nineteen fifty-nine. Phil. I don't even know what that is. Sons of the Forest does have nearly 13 k play, 24 hour peak, much higher than small land. That's like comparing. Come on. Why is this one not making anything? Do I even grab the algae at this point? Because I've already, like, stocked the whole chest. Yeah, I don't think I have that yet. Um, well, I gotta grab the water from outside. We're full on water, okay? I want to see if I can get up on top of this cliff higher. There looks like there's places I haven't been.
What was the one Sorrow game that just died instantly? Only the devs were playing it? Nightingale? Yeah, I got the th I got some behind the where the sand was falling. I've gotten a bunch here, but I haven't been I know I haven't searched this entire area. There's probably some up here that I haven't gotten. Not Nightingale. The one we didn't play. Oh, are you talking about Fracture Veil? Vale? Does that have any players right now? Honestly, I just am trying to find... I need to find biochips so I can unlock... I still haven't got unlocked the Tier 2 Deconstructor. And there's... All, the shipwrecks all have Tier 2 stuff in them I can break down. One player, three and twenty... Wow, there's no way they're still updating that game, right? You know what? I haven't been up here. Let me just greet this stuff. Just need one more titanium. Let me see what's up here. Now you're fine. You haven't spoiled anything. I literally... I've been talking about Super Alloy. It's not a problem. We could both join and triple the player base. No, he hasn't... He hasn't spoiled anything. I'm literally saying, where is the Super Alloy? Where is the Super Alloy? No, I really need microchips. I found... A we're cashing it in. I'm cashing it in. This is going to be the tier two. That just popped in. Holy shit. This is going to be the tier two deconstructor. And I'm going to go clear out those uh, spaceships. I almost feel bad when somebody... really like. I feel bad for people when they release a game and literally nobody plays it. I mean, if it's a shit game, that's one thing. But like a lot of times they're just not... They're not bad. It's just they're not... We're not ready. Oh god, if I stream on my second channel, I gotta set up all the commands. Oh, uh, the fuck? Cool. Golden crate? What the hell is this thing? I've never seen a golden crate. Can I break that down? What did that give me? It gave me super alloy. Right click to build. What does that do? Yeah, I got the wreck in the... I cleared the entire wreck in the middle of that maze over there. Everything ex There might be some tier 2 things in there to de deconstruct. My oxygen level's low again. I'm literally not paying attention. Does this do something? I can't break it. Oh, I can pick it back up. What does this do? Please give me the tier two. You son of a bitch. Uh, no, I found the golden seed on a shelf. The golden seed was sitting on a shelf in one of the spaceships. Oh, they're just decorations? Okay. Oh, I got another golden seed there. Yeah, this one I found, like, sitting on a shelf inside one of the wrecked spaceships. 
uh, uranium rod. Shite. I can make the next, um... Uh, wait, I need this stuff to take with me. I don't need the aluminum. Holy shit, my stuff is literally full. I'm back. With a small team of less than 10 of ours, we've been working on Fracture Oil for more than seven years. The first releases of 2024 are most likely to be alpha builds and will likely be at beta stage for a few months after our launch. There may be one on top of the wreck above the lake. The, um... Talking about on there. Where was I just at? I was just going. I was going up here. There's no wrecks up here. I can head over there real quick. West of the lake. Oh, over here? The first one you go to? The one down here or the one up here? Oh, okay. Um. Can I even get up there? That's the question. I'm not even sure if I can get on top of it. Shit, it's 11.30. I gotta, I gotta stop soon. Literally nobody's messaged me on Discord about playing Fortnite tomorrow, so... Maybe I'll just keep playing this. You can walk up it? Okay. I'm gonna have to, um... I'll just put a link in the chat. You can walk up on top of it. Were you supposed to message me? No. Do you know how to play- Do you know how to play Fortnite Save the World? that noise it doesn't have a damn super chip in it unlucky No, they wanted to do the the new the it's not new. Well, I guess it is new cuz it's not the exact same as last year. It's like the newest um end game mode that was added. It did give me two super three super alloys, so that's good. And another golden seed. It's getting dark as hell. So no, you would not be able to would not be able to play it if you've not if you don't have everything. You gotta have everything. There's twenty. Alright, well I'm sure I'll stumble upon more. I just I the there's only what would I change? There's three things that I would change. I would like to see quality of life wise. Um craft from storage. 
If you're like close by. Uh, hot deposit. Actually, no. I think the chest, I think storage should have more space by default. And then, um, I don't like the, uh, I don't like the fact that I, I'm literally waiting to unlock. I need the tier two deconstructor. And I've, I've, I've unlocked probably, I've decoded like 30 of the blue chips and I haven't gotten it. And half of the ones I've unlocked, I don't care about. So that's like, I don't like RNG. So I, I would, I wish there was a way of like just picking which ones you wanted to unlock. There is a craft from storage. Oh, so it's like, um, it's like enshrouded. You can craft from storage, but you have to use the special chests. Damn, I'm nearly rich on Super Alloy now. Is this all golden seeds? Autocrafters pull from storage and I make a craft for every time. Okay. Yeah, I saw somebody had automated stuff set up. I was like, okay. Yeah, but I don't think I'm anywhere close to that, am I? Just max out on water now. supposed to be like a tank or something? What is this? Oh, it's a space pod. I unlocked something. Collects and filters water from the surface. Bro, I don't need water anymore. I have some, I have two of these and I'm getting so much water I can't use it. I'm sure I'll need that at some point. On Terraform, that's what I'm doing. I gotta start building more stuff. Oh, wait, I'm at full lakes now. Next is moss. So I went for, I did, I started off lakes today at like 0% and it went up 100% in four-ish hours. That's not too bad. Not getting any new messages, even though I have the satellite up. Machine optimizer. Find and insert fuses into the... Okay, well, that would... Okay. Heater. I'm literally not even close to that. Tier four drill. Generates pressure by releasing gases trapped in the ground. That's close. Flower spreader, 2.5. Too far from that. Plant rocket increases moss spread. Not even close to that, right? Beehive, 80 T. I'm at 58 kilograms. I don't know what the hell that means. I have no insects and no animals. Things are going to start turning green. Yeah, they're starting now. New message received. Oh shit, am I gonna be underwater here? Is that lake, am I literally built right on the, on the lake? Use ore extractors in different areas to extract specific materials and rockets are really important to help boost your generation of. It's encrypted boys, okay. Okay, well, I made a huge progress today. You reached the lake stage, you were good from water. Great placement. It was actually 100% unintended, I'll be honest. Uh, completely unintentional. I was like, let me not put it... Um, I didn't want to put it all the way at the bot, like 
I, I originally was building right next to the pod, and I was like, wait, I remember when I played the demo for this, that water started rising, so I needed to, uh, I was like, let me move it up, and then I thought I didn't build it high enough, I was gonna build it even higher on train, but it ended up working out. Uh, what am I looking for? Hold on a second. I'm gonna put a link in the chat. Um... This is my second YouTube channel. Let me check it. You know, sometimes you just build and it turns out okay. Check this link real quick. It is. All right, if you're watching me on YouTube, there's a link to my second channel. Uh, go subscribe over there because I'm gonna probably start streaming. I think I'm not. I think I'm gonna start streaming on there. Starting if I stream tomorrow, I'm gonna stream on there. I stream on Twitch and there. You've been playing it for two years. Okay. Okay. I tried it when it first came out, and then I just didn't play it at early access. And I was like, when I saw the reviews for it, I was like, what? Why is it getting 96% positive reviews? Because when I played it, I was like, this. It was like whatever. There was nothing to it, there was no combat, and now that I've put, like, 10 hours into it, I'm like, okay, it's, it's fun. Am I gonna do some Fallout watching? Uh, I don't know, I've been actually going to bed at a reasonable time lately. What the hell is that? New content update for I Am, I Am Future. I've played that for, like, two hours. Yeah, the, no con, it's fine, it's, like I said, it's kind of like, it's kind of like Subnautica or Breathage. Like, you just have to manage your health, hunger, thirst, whatever, and then oxygen. So you just, oxygen is the main, the main thing. Like you manage your oxygen and you're, you're fine. And it doesn't need to have combat. You just have to deal with the environmental hazards. So, of uh, dying from oxygen deprivation. Man, this game never had any, um, this game is actually pretty decent. I played it for a little bit. It's only 10 bucks. Honestly, this game is probably worth 10 bucks. Wait, when's the update coming out? Oh, it's not till May 20th? Okay, it's a month away. New area, weather change, solar panels. Okay, how much time did I beat? I did everything in this game before. I did everything in this game. Up until uh, when it launched. I am future. It took me 10 hours to do everything at launch. They've added a bunch of stuff since then, I think. I think they've added stuff since I last played it. Gamepad support and more. Roadmap revealed. Okay, they added that. So they've added something. I mean, it's 10 bucks. You'll get 10. 2,500 concurrent players. Thank you for playing. When the hell did I play this? Oh my God, I haven't played this in almost a year. Jesus Christ, I didn't know it was out that long. I went to bed early and woke up at like 2 a.m. Last season, I launched 2,500 rockets in one episode. Took me 10 hours to record because of having to place them all. Jesus. Wait, you launched them at the same time? <clears throat> Yo, I'm getting, like, tired all of a sudden. I'm, like, hitting a wall. Now, I've been trying to go to bed early. I've been trying to go to bed early, and I haven't been eating any junk, so... I need to not be fat. But, yeah, if you're watching on YouTube, um, and you want to watch me on YouTube and not Twitch... Make sure you uh, follow me on my second channel because I'm going to probably stream on there starting tomorrow. Hop from platform to platform. That's ridiculous. 10 hours of recording. Yeah, I was kind of surprised by how much content uh, I am, whatever, I'm sorry, uh, the Planet Crafter actually had. I thought this was going to be like, a... when I first played the Planet Crafter, I was like, also, why does it say Planet Crafter up here, but it says the Planet Crafter down here? Which one is it? 
It's called The Planet Crafter. Whatever. When I first played it, I was like, this is an asset flip. They literally just took a game world, put default assets all over the place because when you get out of the when you get out of the pod and start walking around, there's just literally resources on the ground as far as you can see in every direction. But it seems to be much better than that. The I I think the progression seems much better now. I don't remember I don't remember all this when I played it originally, when I played the demo. I feel like I progressed way faster back then. So, I definitely could see myself I could see, if you like building, you could certainly make some fantastic looking bases and stuff in this game. Like, I just kind of started throwing stuff together. So, we'll see what happens. But yeah, I'll probably, uh, I, unless something changes, gave each spec a 5,000% boost. Oh, you mean it takes, the demo, were you saying the demo was much easier to unlock everything? Like, I'm the stuff I'm looking at in this video, I don't recognize half this stuff. I could easily probably, I think I could see myself easily sinking 100 hours into this game. Like, I like building bases when there's a reason to build them. Even though your base is not getting attacked in this, you are building, you're building it to like, for functionality because you have to have stuff inside of it, so. Yeah. Let's play some Grounded. Ivan, I'm not playing Grounded. And I can't, like, I, I'll, sh wait, I didn't even, I'll show you guys what I showed earlier. Did I still have it up? I'll show you my I'll show you my uh schedule for the next however long. It's ridiculous. This is my this is my schedule for the next two months. The red days are days where I cannot stream because I either can't or because like something's going on. Yeah, you can set up multiple bases. Like, both of my kids are playing... My One of my kids is playing two sports, the other one's playing one. And the only day that has nothing on it as of right now is Fridays. And then after next week, Wednesdays will be free. And then Saturdays, but this is all... I don't know... This depends on what time the games are on Saturdays. Because I think the, the baseball games on Saturdays are early, but I don't know what time the football games are going to be on. So... So yeah, like next week, the only day I could possibly stream will be Friday. After that, I'm going to do... I'll probably go back to Wednesdays. And then do Wednesday, Wednesday, Friday. We'll see what happens. But I'll prob I'm going to stream tomorrow. I don't think anybody messaged me on Discord, even though I asked them if they wanted to play. Uh, when did I say this? Three days ago, I said I can do... Like I said, I can do Friday or Saturday, and nobody said anything about it. So I'm going to assume that we're not. So I'll probably stream the Planet Crafter tomorrow. And uh, it'll be on Twitch or my second YouTube channel. I'll post something on my YouTube channel on this, uh, the community tab, letting people know if they want to watch. But I'm not going to play Grounded unless the update that they put out just completely is like has something surprising in it. And I don't expect it. I don't expect them to, I don't expect them to do, actually, what I'm playing right, when I'm playing this right now, I don't, there's, I don't feel any reason to go back and play that game, I just don't. Next week, No Rest for the Wicked comes out in like six days, so, I also wanted to play No Man's Sky, and I wanted to play the Lord of the Rings survival game, and I have a backlog of games, Hydraenir just got an update, and I've never even played that. So, there's a ton of games that I can play. Grounded's way down on the bottom of the list. Unless the update next Tuesday has something so surprising that I'm like, oh my god, I gotta play this. But even then, I'm not gonna stream it because I can't next week. So, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, thanks for the uh, Twitch Primes. Thanks for the YouTube channel memberships. If you want, make sure you hit the like button on YouTube. Make sure you're following on Twitch. Tomorrow, if I stream, it'll be on Twitch and my second YouTube channel. Um, I'll post it in my Discord. And as of right now, I'm leaning towards streaming because I'm going to play the Planet Crafter, and I'm not, I, I don't see... I don't... Uh, I can just sit there and stream it and talk to you guys, so... There's like... I don't really... I'm just going to play it anyway. That's probably what I'm going to do tomorrow anyway, so I'll probably stream it, so... Anyway, thanks for watching. Have an awesome night. If, you're, if I don't talk to you guys tomorrow or see you tomorrow, have an awesome rest of your weekend. I'm out. See ya.